in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed Come. To know, to grow, to hear you speak. We pray that your voice will be clear. Speak to us, O King of Zion. And cause our ears to hear that which the Spirit wants us to hear. We pray that you will reveal the mind of the Father to us. And I pray that we will rise, we will rise, we will rise. In the name of Jesus, we declare that our spirits are receptive. There is the hearing of faith and the walking of miracles. And Lord, we thank you because burdens are lifted in this atmosphere. The sick are healed. The oppressed are delivered. You will give direction and hope. And Lord, every prophetic word needed to change every life and every situation, it will come expressly by your word. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. First Chronicles chapter 12. Keep standing. Please keep standing. First Chronicles chapter 12. And I want us to read verse 32. I wish we can have this projected. First Chronicles chapter 12. It's a privilege to stand and minister God's word. It's a privilege to bring to us understanding. Are we there? It's projected. I just want us to read the A part. Are we together? Can we read? One to read. And the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do. There is a relationship between understanding and the quality of your action. He says they had an understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do. Not just that they acted, but they knew what to do. We're here tonight gathered so that God will grant us the keys that will help us know what to do. Many people are acting just taking actions that are not producing results. It's one thing to act, but it's another thing to know what to do. He says the children of Issachar, they had an understanding of the times. Then they knew what Israel had to do. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like your candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. It's a prayer, not a song. It's a prayer, not a song. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light my life. Light me, Lord. Let me know what to do. Pray. Pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. Let your light swallow up my darkness. Light me, Lord. 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 Light my Lord. The Bible says, they that stumble, stumble in the night. There is, there is no way you will stumble 
once there is light are we together now yeah the bible says the eye is the light of the body it says and if your eye be full of light right if your eye be full of light then paraphrasing now it lightens your path but then if your eyes be darkness there are too many people stumbling stumbling i don't just want to start preaching it's important to know that our hearts are prepared to receive you see this song that we just sang right now is not it's not a special number to just make you feel emotional i tell you it's one of the greatest cry you can pray in this season the bible says the spirit of man is the candle of the lord but the holy spirit is the light upon the candle a candle is useless notice the way the candle lights it keeps burning the wax and then the light keeps coming so the treasure in that candle is hidden inside are we together now without a fire there cannot be light the greater the burning of the outer sphere of that candle the more it gives illumination so i want you to sing this song with understanding father there are i i confess ignorance in my life but light me are you ready to sing it from your heart light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle Give us illumination tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Just turn to your left and right. Generously greet someone. Night me, Lord. hallelujah one of the blessings of walking with the holy spirit is the capacity to develop your discernment discernment is the spiritual quality of perception it's the ability to perceive not just the origin of things the spirit that engineers certain things but also a perception of thoughts and a perception of intentions with uh, discernment works almost like mind reading you are able to pick signals are we together now that's why i led us to read that scripture it says the sons of issachar had an understanding a perception of the times one of the secrets listen one of the secrets to a life of victory is the ability to move as the spirit is moving in the revelation of ezekiel and daniel had the same revelation it says how that the cherubs everywhere the spirit moved they also moved the secret to a life of victory the secret to a life of triumph is to do what god is doing is to go where god is going because anywhere god is that is where his life his power his victory his glory is concentrated if god is going to the left and you are headed right you are in trouble if god is going right and you're headed left you're in trouble it's important that's why we pray and that's why we create an atmosphere of worship because among other things we want to build discernment the capacity to understand the speakings of the spirit for every season hallelujah And um, God has been helping us. We've been bringing teachings already that I believe are very, very applicable to our lives and in line with the word that God has given us this year. Tonight, I want to share on something powerful. This message is very personal to me, especially in this season. 
because I have seen the let me borrow from the words of God's servant Bishop David Oyedepo I have seen the capacity for sweatless triumph on the strength of what I'm about to share with you but then I have seen how difficult the life of a man can be if you do not have this let me digress for a minute or two to reiterate something that I believe has been an anthem in this place it's important to know what spiritual growth is because that's why we are gathered here spiritual growth first and foremost is the ability to conform experientially to the image of the Christ conformity conformity to the image of the Christ the second character of spiritual growth is the ability to sustain an ability where you accurately comprehend the mysteries and the secrets of the kingdom so i can know whether or not you are growing spiritually by seeing to what degree you are conforming to the image of the christ one and then the second point is i want to see how you are living your life i want to see how you interplay spiritual laws like a chef in a kitchen with raw ingredients but can give you an assurance to be patient for two hours and within those times he or she is working out something mixing the ingredients with intelligence and knowledge and after two hours sometimes what he or she is mixing will even change color they they know what to do and then they bring out a beautiful combination and it blesses everyone you are not a blessing if you do not understand the secrets of the kingdom you cannot be a blessing men rise in this kingdom through secrets we rise in this kingdom through secrets our business in this kingdom is the ability to trade secrets the secrets of the kingdom no matter how you brag about being spiritual if you do not know how to handle the secrets of the kingdom to produce the results that are required you are wasting your time and you will eventually get frustrated no matter how confident you sound now and what a joy to have a ministry and a platform by his grace that can afford us the opportunity to rise to a point where we understand the secrets of the kingdom this is what we teach every time and tonight you're about to learn one i pray that you not only add it to the list of the mysteries you may have had and are not using but that you pay attention to it because it may be the one key that is required in this season to bring prophecy to manifestation hallelujah can you pray for one minute and say lord open my eyes open my eyes open my ears amen tonight i'm teaching on what i titled the gift of men the gift of men ephesians chapter 4 the gift of men i want to share with you and unlock to you a mystery behind strange breakthroughs the mystery or a mystery really not just a mystery but one of the kingdom secrets that controls what i will call a quantum leap in a man's life hallelujah i want to share with you a mystery that is responsible for the sudden explosion in the life and destinies of individuals businesses ministries and all of that please pay attention the gift of men Ephesians chapter 4 your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word 
and I will forever sing your praise. Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your world. I will forever sing your praise. I will sing. The wonders of your love out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your love, and I will forever seven and eight Ephesians four. Seven and eight. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore, he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and did what? Gave gifts unto men. Those gifts are not talents. Those gifts are not the gifts of the spirit. Those gifts are people. When he ascended up on high, he gave men to men. There are men called gifts. Are we together? The gift here is not anointing. The gift here is not talent like word of knowledge. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. When you read all through the context of Ephesians 4, you never see the mention of anything anointing or gifts of the Spirit. Uh -uh. He gave gifts unto men. Where is your own? Because the Bible says he gave gifts unto men. And he says anyone who has that gift will come into a level, a stature, he calls it. Are we together? He gave gifts unto men. Fast forward all the other verses. He says to the end. Because of those gifts. That we come into the fullness of the measure of the expectation. The stature of Christ. Meaning there is a gift I must receive. There is a dimension of the operation of the spirit I must receive. In men. To be able to rise to that level please pay attention everything on earth today happens because of one single entity called man the wars in the world today happen because of man the peace experienced by nature by nations have been brokered by men listen to me the poverty that we experience in Africa and other parts of the world have been caused and have been sustained by men. The wealth and abundance that have been experienced in our world today have been engineered by men. The economic system that our civilization currently runs on was designed and is sustained by men. The policies that govern the progress or the slavery of individuals and territories were carefully decided upon and prepared by men the only reason why there are still human beings on earth is because there are still men the reason why there is hatred in the world is not because there are animals it's because there are the only reason why every other thing works. You say I'm a real estate mogul. No. Land does not give anybody money. People love the land. So the land becomes expensive. Everything revolves around men. Please pay attention. I want to share with you a powerful mystery. Koinonia is running today not because Jesus is Lord. But because there are... The radio station thrives because at the other end of the broadcast there is a human ear not an animal ear 
not a monkey or a dog ear a human ear to listen there is an armed robber planning to rob today and his mission looks realistic because of the existence of men how come the entire civilization of mankind run in, yet we never study them we study clothes we study oil we study every other thing but we never pay attention to men let me show you a wise man who did what we should be doing psalms 8 hello madonna Psalms 8. Hello, Madonna. Do you know why David was called up a man after God's heart? Listen, it was not just Solomon alone that was wise. David was very wise. He said, Oh Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Listen. Who has set thy glory above the heavens? Read on, please. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou had ordained strength because of thy enemies that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. Three. When I consider the heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon, think about it, which thou hast ordained for, what is man? That thou art mindful you took your time to create everything for him you created the sun the moon you put protection you made sure plants produced so god there is what is man what was in your mind when you were designing this entity called man that even you god will not rest why that is all god thinks about in heaven do you know god does not think about his glory I know what he's thinking about now man think about it sister if you are aware a brother has been thinking about you from morning till night i think it's a cause to smile that shows you are valuable what is man that thou art it didn't say brain full mind full your mind is full right what's that song he will not suffer my foot to be moved. I carry your presence everywhere. Who am I? Your mind is so full of me. Lord, amen. Awesome God. So what is mine? He never say who is man. He's not talking about the personality of man what strategy did you design that you called man i know his personality but lord what is the use of the could you not replace him with something listen read the bible god has replaced many things with many things but god has been unable to find a replacement for man to an extent that no matter how bad man was god will come and say we will fix it even the man himself after helping them he still preserved others there must be more in this mystery called man you know what is in a bank that's why they protect it you know what is in the earth that's why we put nmpc to guard it but we do not know what is in this entity called man what is man i put it in a better way what is in man that thou art mindful of him can't you just waste them away and build another species lord are you are you so dull after you created man did you lose your sense of creativity why do you want to so fix him why can't you just replace him can't you put a mind in chairs what is man that thou art mindful of him not the son of man that as glorious as heaven is you are not comfortable so you come to visit him to an extent that you make that man your temple that man your temple your temple it's like donald trump coming to live somewhere at the back of this place 
and he says believe me you cannot get the joy and he said no 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 i mean you have everything you need let's sing that song again god we are we are, we are flying this night he will not suffer my foot to be i carry a present everywhere Hold on. In the book of Jude, Jimmy, Moses had died when Archangel Michael came to carry his body. Lucifer also came wanting the body. The guy had died. They were fighting over the body. What was in the body? Don't just say it's your spirit alone that is important. Listen to me. What is in this body that Jesus is interested in? Satan is interested. Why do demons look for human bodies? What in a body? L listen, listen. What, what happens to them when they are in a body? You must understand this. I will show you a mystery that will change your life. We look for oil and ignore men. We protect oil wells and leave men. Think how foolish we are. We put fence around lands but leave men and ignore them and kill them and burn them and we want to move forward. The psalmist said, I have already considered the ground. I consider the oil fields. Mm -mm. I consider the sun. I consider uh -uh. I, I found out your attention is on this entity. So God, please tell me what is man that you are mindful of him. If I have a safe with a million dollars and I'm hiding it, if you touch any other thing, I won't say anything. But if you are coming near there, I'll be shifting back. That's how it is. Satan noticed every other thing he touched. God didn't bother. But the moment he started coming to man, his attention. Batters that man. And then Jesus himself came and walked upon the earth. They asked Jesus, why did you come? He said to die. <laughs> what kind of assignment is that? Went to the cross and the people he was dying for were not even repentant. Yet he was not angry. There is more. To me and you i will show you something today that will make you never hate any human being i will show you something today that will make you see that your prosperity is in the hands of man what is man the most abundant secret to our blessing moves around us every day yet we we can trade it a thousand times to look for oil we can trade it a thousand times to look for whatever it is. We protect things more than men. We would rather kill men than kill things. If 100,000 people die, listen, and Nigeria's oil field is protected, we think we are still alright. Listen, I want you to think about this for a moment. Just imagine that everyone at the same time in the world falls into a state of coma except you. Listen. Do we have intelligent minds in this place? Imagine that not death. Everybody simultaneously, 7.2 billion people, enter a state of coma right now except you. Let me tell you what will happen to you. I know. You will first run to the bank. You will find it open. By the way, you will enter the safe and run to a mall. No security. No nothing. No plane. No more terrorists. No fear. Where are the demons? They are no longer interested. You search for them. Every dark corner does not make you afraid again. So why did it make me afraid? Man. Man. The only reason why demons have something to do is because man is still alive. So, brothers and sisters, I want to ask you again. What is in man? Don't you think this calls for study? This thing changed my life. I'm playing with your expectation before I begin to teach you. 
what is man when i consider the work of your hands when you see a man designing something you want to know what he wants to put there when i see you building a house i want to know the kind of thing you want to put there then you finish building a beautiful house lavish money and carry a little gold or a little baby or a dog and put in the house i know that that is a dog plus something maybe that dog you are hiding cocaine in that dog i will tear that dog and find out why are we together now jesus shed his blood many times men will cry even for themselves to die listen listen have you tried to fix things fix things and it didn't work what do you do you try to fix a gas cooker again and again it doesn't work god doesn't throw it away now it's a mystery i wish i had time i would have shown you something a prophet saw that just like a shepherd comes to rescue a lamb he gave us an analogy in the book of Hosea. i think it was amos amos now right that a, a lion ate a lamb ate everything he only left two legs and one ear two legs and one ear yet the shepherd fought the lion and recovered the two ear the two legs and one ear when i read that scripture i said ah if you come and you see a lion devouring your sheep and the intestines have been eaten only one ear and two legs is it worth fighting for and yet the shepherd fought i preached a message years ago with that because for as long as you can have ears to hear the creative word of the lord and two legs to take a step of faith you can get everything back again it's the mystery of restoration the most important part of that sheep the lion did eat it what a foolish lion it ate every other part and left what can bring it back the lion would have eaten the ears and the legs and gone away and you would have finished that animal because if you still can hear and you can take steps of faith then all hope is not lost let's go to our discussion tonight please sit down everything on earth i said happens because of man the demonic oppression happens because of man there are more angelic activities on earth right now than human activities all because of men if god were to open your eyes in the realm of the spirit you will see myriads of angels dispatched and sent because of man every business succeeds because there is a man to provide that value and there is a man to patronize it is that true those of you who do businesses on campus you know that holidays are very bad times for you you don't like it why not because the building moves are we together now to an extent it me that you can ship a consultant from india bundle him like a package and bring him to a hospital just to perform an eight hour surgery and go back and pay him millions yet you think he is worth it hallelujah what is man that thou art mindful of him i have spent my life studying and learning the mysteries of the kingdom that control the results that we desire i still am at it and i do it passionately i'm like a spiritual archaeologist if you would um, permit me to use that word because i strongly believe the few, the secret of the future is in the past there is something we have long forgotten about that holds the key to a glorious future and so i study a lot and when the lord began to teach me the mystery of men um i just felt it was very important to teach us now when you consider the personalities of men listen you're talking about the psychological implication of men you can have people who we consider to be extroverts people who we consider to be introverts and etc that's not what i'm talking about today i'm not talking about the physiology of men i'm not talking about the psychology of men i'm talking about the spirituality the very spirituality the spiritual significance of having a gift called a man 
in your life notice every time there is the coming of a man into another person's life the bible calls it an advantage when he created all things when he made the woman remember he said it is not good so another body comes into another life and the bible says that person's life should not be the same I, i'm just using marriage as an analogy he said he that finds a wife he never said he that finds oil he never said he that goes to school has done a good thing he never said he that, he that if you can find another human being then he said there is a friend another human being that sticks close ah, ah. he gave gifts to men the bible was speaking about the patriarch abraham and he said abraham set out on his journey as instructed by god and then lot went with him he never said lot helped him lot just followed another man and lot's life started changing are you hearing what i'm saying now let me show you the implication of men the bible records that there was a man called laban laban and then jacob came to the house of laban and over a span of about 10 years laban's entire life changed is that true the bible speaks about a prophet called jonah on his way to run away from god's instruction entered a boat where there were other men and certain strange things started happening every time someone died they started calling for the appearance of a man and a man appeared and then something happened have you noticed every time men entered an atmosphere they they made certain things to happen men men when gehazi was troubled he went to meet a man are men really important when they were hungry five thousand people they found a loaf five loaves two fish from a man and took it to meet a man even when the donkey spoke he spoke to a man please i want you to pay attention because what i'm saying will bless your life forever that means if i ignore men i am ignoring something more than a personality i am driving out a realm of reality and possibility from my life listen listen if i ignore men in fact in ancient times when kings had men they were called wealthy not just because they had an arsenal of people to fight because sometimes the people were not skilled but in the multitude of men is a king's honor the multitude of men is a king's honor every religion fights for men kings of the earth fight for men the only reason why they fight for territory is so that it can accommodate more men are we together when a man meets with his wife they give birth to another man why is god interested in another man when satan tries to afflict a woman with barrenness what is he trying to stop what is he trying to stop he's not trying to stop joy no he's not trying to stop peace there are people who are happy without children why will satan take the issue of men personal when moses was giving birth to mm, listen moses was giving birth to a decree listen they said they should kill all not animals men. in this case the masculine uh, gender but then men when jesus was born the same thing happened again kill men what is in man oh god that you are mindful of what am i missing the last person i drove away from my life what did i drive away i'm about to show you why is it that the bible even says a born again spirit filled man for treating another man in his life called his wife the heavens will close over him and his prayer will not be answered 
I didn't steal. I didn't kill. I only did something to another man that was not good. Yet heaven responds to it. This entity called man, brothers and sisters, has more than just a personality. If all you look at is just two eyes, two legs, and a personality, you will cheat yourself. Listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you certain things about men. Number one, men in themselves are not perfect. Ignore this. Because what I'm about to show you will be stopped when you are when you don't take away the you know the 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 effect of some of these things i'm sharing men are not perfect in themselves you may meet foolish men in your life you may meet all wise men in your life however it still is not in enough reason to just throw them away they may be holding certain things that i'll be revealing to you shortly are we together for some reason, God hid his possibilities in men. He didn't hide it just in buildings. He didn't just hide it in territories. But the consecration of the possibilities of men, he hid it. The uh, possibilities of God, he hid it in men. He made man the highest of his creation. Men are not perfect in themselves. Number two, the attitude and the behavior of men, good or bad, good or bad, listen to me, does not stop your receiving what they carry. The attitude of men, good or bad, does not stop your receiving what they carry. Elijah was an angry man, yet he was used to change the life and the stories of people you have to listen to this let me say the third thing that i'd want to say about men are you ready for this there are certain possibilities in men listen to me that predates even their salvation experience please listen predates their salvation experience that can still be received whether they are born again or not you have to understand what i'm telling you now am i just am i saying people should remain unbelievers no but i am saying there are certain things that god has put in men that can be received whether or not those people are born again or not if an old woman causes you whether as a witch or as a human being the fact that she has lived long enough certain possibilities have been open to her to be able to speak over your life are you getting what i'm saying now yeah all through scripture every time children cried god had children every time read your bible every time children cried there was a response from the earth to heaven that's why i say out of the mouths of babes and sucklings thou had ordained are we together your destiny and my destiny are men dependent write this down it's a very serious point the your destiny and my destiny the fulfillment of it is highly man dependent my prosperity is man dependent the quality of the work god has given me the quality of your church your ministry your life is man dependent the quality of your life on earth as a believer and as an inhabitant of the earth is man dependent your success and my success in life 
are highly or is highly man dependent evil on earth is man dependent the advancement of the kingdom on earth is man dependent the fulfillment of prophecy on earth is man dependent God can speak the Bible never told us in the prophecy it said a virgin shall conceive a woman aligned herself with that prophecy otherwise Jesus would never have been born he never said Mary no a woman chose to play that script it just so happened that the name of that woman is Mary it was said he would be buried in a virgin tomb he didn't tell us the owner that was somebody's business that was his property it so happened that the man who fulfilled that prophecy was Joseph of Arimathea he said how that he would be betrayed but he never said by a man called Judas the prophetic word of God listen has been hanging over the heads of many people because the men to make it happen are not available or they have come and we have driven them away please pay attention occultism thrives through the availability of men when the devil wants to destroy a family there usually will be an envoy an individual an entity whatever it is men are more powerful than mediums you can keep a charm in a house but the most powerful charm is an aligned human being who has agreed and said satan i donate myself to scatter the life of these families are we together my assignment is tonight is to help us to open our eyes to the mystery of these gifts that God has given us that we throw away from our lives around called men and watch the unlimited possibilities I call it a quantum leap that your life there is a, a quantum leap is a jump not just a movement you move from one phase of possibility to the other because of the presence of a man hallelujah there are four implications of the presence of men in your life and i want you to note this number one the first implication of a man coming into your life especially sent by god is the coming of wisdom ideas and strategies the only entity that is able to convey wisdom ideas and strategies is man every time a man shows up in your life wisdom ideas strategies wisdom so when i drive a man away i did not just drive a personality that's why i said dot not wisdom cry it personifies wisdom because wisdom moves in and through men are we together now the conveyors of strategies and ideas and wisdom amen every time you are ready to move in a, to another dimension god sends a man and if you have the discernment that man can represent the strategy for the next level that man can represent the wisdom for the next level that man can introduce the idea for the next level many pastors many businesses many individuals are grounded because they think men are just black entities in clothes no every time you see a man coming to you in your state of misery begin to rejoice and begin to discern what is this man what is coming to me it's not just a human being with a mouth to speak are we together when you order a product from conga or jumia they have their pack is that true 
No matter where you buy it, they rewrap it with their own pack. And every time you see it, sometimes it could be a surprise. When you see it, you start laughing because you wonder what is inside. Whether it is big or small, you want to see what is inside. The next time you see a human being come to you, especially sent by God, in a prophetic season, you must begin to rejoice. Because that person, ignore the personality. This is what I'm teaching you. When you look at the personalities of men, you will drive all your miracles out of your life. There are times you have to ignore those personalities and discern. I've been fasting three days. Lord, what is the key to the next level? Then a man comes. Men are the vehicles that God uses to transport wisdom and strategies. Wisdom and strategies. Implication number one. Pay attention to what I'm teaching you. Wisdom, strategies. Let me tell you, I think shortly before Koinonia would start, when we were still meeting that time at the back of chapel in the abu campus here one night the lord led me to do something i just told everyone we're not so many maybe three four hundred or so then and i told everyone please can you write don't write your name just write out whatever suggestion that you think can make this ministry rise to the next level that's your assignment just write it and drop it in the basket Brothers and sisters, my life changed. Koinonia entered another, a quantum leap. When I began to read some of the things that were written, I was shocked. Men, bringing with them strategies. Do you know the answer to your prayer is not far from you? You just don't have the eyes to see. Let me tell you, God is not wicked. I have learned by experience that every answer is closer than you think. It is shrouded in a man. The secret to your financial hardship. Somebody is walking with the answer. And he will walk and pass you. Walk and pass you. Walk and pass you. Even be encouraging you while you are crying. But because you have not discerned that men are the conveyors of strategies. Men are the conveyors of ideas. Men are the conveyors of wisdom. I've had people help me solve problems in life and I've been surprised not at the solution they brought but that they are the ones who brought it and I start saying I mean so why did I start going around I mean you were here all the while has that happened to you after going around looking for answers talking everything it is your roommate while you are discussing in the night you say have you tried A, B, C and that's the end of it men convey us solutions disguised in human beings that we push away and never rise to the top every time you pray and you see men coming into your life pay attention there may be men who have annoyed you every day of your life but on that day they are sent on that day they are sent who gave naaman the secret of his health I know we clap for Elisha, but it was not Elisha. The Bible says there was a little slave girl, correct? A slave girl meant that she did not even have the rudiments, the education, and the training. Yet, listen, it was her that told Naaman, he said, I, I, I know I'm a slave, but there is a man of God. There is a man of God I want you to meet. When he met the man and, you know, doing his big manism, she, she's the one who came and advised him and said, see, he didn't ask you to go and bath in another dirty water somewhere. And Naaman washed seven times. And the Bible says his skin. Could it be that since 2013 you would have risen? But God kept answering your prayer and you kept rejecting the answer. God, give me strategies. And all of a sudden, he said, Please get out this way. We're talking serious things here. I had a little dream. I saw you. I just wanted to share. Shut up! Don't tell me anything. I'm not stupid. I'm, a, I'm spiritual. A small girl like you. And you threw away your answer. The person, only humans can dream. Dogs don't dream. Forget all that junk you hear from sciences. Only humans have the faculty and the capacity 
to dream a dream is a mystery is one of the access points where we receive revelation from the realm of the spirit only men can dream only god knows how many times you have dreamt the answer to someone's prayer yet the person drove you away i'm not talking of false prophecies and, and nonsense where you keep harassing everybody you keep seeing things about everybody's life not your own life i'm talking of quality god inspired solution that has a track record of results that we all appreciate are we together men number two what is the implication of a man in your life endorsements and opportunities men are the conveyors of endorsements and opportunities listen if no man can endorse you in this life you will never rise Paul the apostle a man approved endorsed when they produce a drug they say this drug has been endorsed by the Nigerian dental society brush with it and your life will never be the same or whatever it is that that is the advert are we together now the endorsement whenever you are in doubt when you see that endorsement listen we trivialize endorsement companies have entered million dollar status overnight because of endorsement people have gotten admission with whatever it is because of endorsement I was talking with one of our people here who had been trusting God, I think for a change of faculty or something. And, um, you know, the guy was discouraged. And then I told him, I said he should meet our daddy prof, you know, just to help him out. And he said, he, I saw him, I think it was just last week or so. And he was telling me, he said, everything is settled though. He said in his presence, they were driving everybody out. But immediately he entered and they saw the signature. They said, come in. Is it prof? Come in. It's called what? Many Anal people think it's not spiritual. You need endorsement. It was John the Baptist. Listen, this is a secret many rising ministers don't know. Somebody who earns the loyalty of the people must speak for you. Otherwise, the gate will not open. The gate will not open. Show me the man speaking for you. Show me who has authorized. Listen, when a man endorses you, he takes his sacrifice and puts it for you to cross with. Many believers lack endorsement. Many businesses lack endorsement. Many individuals lack endorsement. There are many people who would have gotten jobs if only someone can say this and that and that. By the privilege of God's grace that he has granted me, I have endorsed people with just a statement. A one-minute phone call turned them to millionaires. One-minute phone call. Oh, I know this person. I can vouch for him. Help him. Benny Hinn was at almost at a state of financial bankruptcy one time. They were going to cancel the crusade because he did not have enough money. He needed $10 million in three days. $10 million in three days. An anointed man like Benny Hinn, please pay attention. Benny Hinn was, you know, making a program challenging the partners to come. And, you know, when the accounts department, their back office were looking, nobody was really contributing. And the Holy Spirit told him to go and bring Oral Roberts. He carried Ora Robert and brought him. The old man came and sat on air. And they had only three minutes. Can you imagine? Three minutes to the end of the program. Do you know what Ora Robert said? He said, Benny is in need. Please help him. In less than 24 hours, they raised about $15 million. Everybody say endorsement. Don't joke with what I'm telling you. I'm teaching you a powerful mystery that you will need. Promotion many tongue talkers sit down everywhere because they do not do you know why i'm teaching you this i'm going to tell you the responsibility so that when you see a man that can endorse you no sacrifice to maintain the relationship becomes too much because you understand the implication of that person's reputation to your destiny all this unnecessary anger with everybody because you think you are the god of yourself you will stay poor and broke and you will lose in life endorsement 90 percent 
of the ministrations that I have gone to by the grace of God have happened through endorsements. One pastor endorsing this. Someone saying, I came for Koinonia. Listen to this message. While they are saying that, I'm probably sleeping or gisting with somebody. I pray for someone tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. The voice, the voice. No, any, listen, not every voice can lift you. Not every voice can lift you. The voice that has been accredited is the voice that can lift you. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. May that voice speak over your life. Yeah. Hallelujah. Men imply the presence of endorsements and opportunities. Pastor Alpha called me. I think when was it that? Yesterday, I was in Abuja and he called me and he said, Apostle, do you know anybody who read civil engineering? There is a job right now as we are talking for the person. No interview, no nothing. And all he wanted was who is who is there. I mean, so that we can give him. The, I said, Kai, I don't know anybody in my mind. Let's come for Koinonia. After, maybe the person is here now. As you are here, you are saying, praise the Lord. And I help you answer hallelujah because that's it. It's done. Someone's life changed overnight. How many people after service, they were just going out to trek just like that. And somebody gave them a lift. And while discussing, they said, what do you do, young man? He said, sir. You know, I'm just moving around. Say, how, how can you be moving around? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Come to my office, take this card. And they thought maybe the office looks like just a small fish pond and another building. And they enter the office and they say, sorry, this person. And it, it keeps getting access until he gets to the man and he says, well, I'm the managing director of ABC. I'm the Nigerian representative of this. Let your life change. Can men change people's lives? <laughs> you, are, you are a big joke. Look, let me tell you. Some things are not demonic oppression. Some things are childishness. Which have been caused by lack of orientation. Sometimes we need sufficient adults to tell us how some things work. You know, all this childishness people carry around. I don't need anybody. You need, oh. You better change that talk quick. I don't need any man. Are you joking? Man, what is man? That thou art mindful of man is a conveyor of endorsement and opportunity. Are we together? That's why we work at making every service a great experience for everyone because everyone's experience is automatically an endorsement of what we represent. I have gotten things without paying for them because of endorsements brothers and sisters i'm showing you a simple secret that will change your life forever the bible says they know not neither will they understand they grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course people have received partnership in their ministry overnight because of an endorsement i've had the privilege i remember one time a particular pastor somewhere you know I, I don't raise money raise funds and all of that but i went to the church and i you know i saw the project they were doing and when i you know said everything i said by the grace of god um i want everybody to sow a seed for this project just jokingly do you know the pastor would call me like two three weeks later he said in all they have met they have prayed and they have fasted him he was saying apostle you are really anointed i said no 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 in my mind it's not just the anointing it's a track record listen listen don't wait till you create the same track record you, you will you will time time cannot wait for you leverage on someone else's sacrifice The condition that was available to create that track record by another may not be available for you. Are you sure what I'm saying? I know lecturers, and I say it with all humility, and it doesn't mean you should meet me after the service, but I know lecturers that I have called and said, Sir, please, so-so-so has met me that there is a problem in your department. 
and this thing is going to affect him ah my apostle how are you you are even calling me and i say sir please i'm not saying you should uh, do anything but please sir can you look into this issue and the person will just come out and say i passed i graduated it's only me that knows what happened between me and the other person may someone discuss your rising even when you are sleeping that when you are while you are sleeping someone is saying look do you know sam i know how he will rise come on now listen those who understand this never get stranded no sir no sir no sir there has to be somebody to speak the voice that speaks for you is the ladder that you will use to climb in the destiny of life you don't pay attention to what I'm telling you to be at your peril because someone is receiving already the answer. This is how God will bless men in this season. That's why I tell you, when God says it's a year of triumph, believe him. It doesn't take time. It just takes the right voice speaking for you. Hallelujah. I have entered offices today. I have no business entering it because of the endorsement. Endorsement. Who has endorsed you man of god i know you are anointed but you are sweating all around with posters flying everywhere and saying please invite me give me 30 minutes out no 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 you don't have to do those gimmicks who around has had the credibility and is willing to endorse you hallelujah i will never forget one one of our ladies when she was preparing to get married when she went to meet her mother, her mother said, I don't have anything to tell you. I don't even know this guy. Just go and meet apostle. Whatever apostle says. Think of it. Leaving somebody's destiny in my hands. I called the mother. I said, mommy, this guy is a very nice guy. He said, apostle, you are saying that? I said, yes. From that day, there was no challenge again. Lord, raise somebody to speak for me. Or raise someone to endorse me raise someone to endorse my business raise some raise someone to endorse my life my destiny there has to be somebody to speak for you listen let me show you that jesus immediately they gave birth to jesus where did they take him to the temple there were two men that endorsed him are we together immediately they took him one prophetess called anna had been there praying and fasting she lifted him and began to speak and then Simeon the prophet began to speak when John was among different people when John saw him John said behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world in the presence of everybody somebody must speak to you in the presence of everybody don't be angry that men are doubting you you have not done anything to bless them why should they not doubt you listen listen let me tell you do you know i say this with all humility there have been people who by the grace of god they started out in ministry and the church was not growing the ministry was grounded and all they needed sometimes they just call and say man of god please so many people listen to your messages in this region you are not here you don't have a branch me i'm here you know i love god and these people never come to my church and then they make arrangement and the day i'm going for those meetings some of those churches don't even have plenty of people but they have multiple overflows those times why because somebody that the people believe in has appeared are you hearing what i'm saying now and then the moment i speak and i say oh this is my a, a pastor friend a great man a man of integrity i love him with all my heart and immediately it looks like a one second or five seconds talk but the members just say i found my pastor since i can't come to zaria i found the person that can represent him that's why sometimes people foolishly carry my picture for meetings that i'm not coming they don't care whether i say yes or no they just start producing the posters in advance first because they think it's endorsement sometimes it doesn't work but when you have a man truly who can speak for you brothers and sisters i don't see the witch or the wizard that will tie you ladies have married cheaply because someone recommended them brother i've been praying honestly there's this lady i've been looking ah no 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 this lady is a blessing i tell you if it's this lady you are sure of joy and peace 
in your life whether in plenty or in lack and the brother says I've, I've, my prayer has been answered a few months later they are married but do you know the same way people's destinies have been cut short somebody was about to rise but a bad talk from someone brought him down they were about to give him a job he said don't give this guy a job he worked with me he's too cement he, maybe the guy has repented though do you know paul had to do this for onesimus it's in your bible accept him i know he was once so 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 and so but now just accept him there are people here all those who know you knew your yesterday you have repented today you need a fresh voice that will tell people this is not Saul this is now Paul because the, the, the predicament of being Saul is destroying your breakthrough who today must speak and say no 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 this guy was an armed robber but January he repented are you hearing what I'm saying some of us, our past will never let us go. They know that you used to be around following every man. Yes, that was your past. But now you are born again. And Jesus is Lord of your life. Yet all the people in your life are people who knew you 1997. So the moment they see a responsible godly man come in, they call and say, Kai, um, you know, David Dam, I wouldn't have told you. It's just because you are my brother. This is not a good choice. I command every voice that speaks when you are about to rise. The moment there is consultation among your destiny helpers to, to lift you. There are voices. There are pastors today that should not be begging for bread. Partners wanted to sow into their lives. But somebody said, I saw his poster with A and B's poster. And immediately, over 70 ministrations cancelled. Just because somebody recommended you badly, I pray any voice in the name of Jesus that has been speaking evil against your destiny. I silence that voice right now. Shout amen. I silence that voice right now. I silence that voice right now. Please sit down. Sit down. Hallelujah. Cheap victory because a man showed up. Quantum leap because an endorser showed up. There are pastors who their destinies have changed overnight. A man of God they invited somewhere could not make it. And he would just say, please, can you go and stand for me? That was a meeting that their level of grace and experience should not take them there. And they stood there and they did well that day. After the meeting, there are seven or eight pastors. And they say, sir, please, can you come to a, for a meeting? Can you come for a meeting? Etc. Etc. There is no meeting, brothers and sisters, that I will go for that afterward, somebody from that meeting will carry the wondrous works of God to another region. This is how we have grown as a ministry. This is how we have grown even financially. The blessing that has come from people. Are we together now? I remember someone one time sowing into the ministry and he said that him... I think he's a critical person. He hates men of God. Many men of God are fake. They are not serious. But when he listened to my message and his mentor, he, he had his mentor, whoever that person was, listening to my message, he just said, no, we'll be sowing into this ministry. Every month, I tell you, every month, he sows a seed to Koinonia and a seed to my life. Do I know him? I have only communicated with him on text, but endorsement. Don't trivialize what I'm saying. Endorsement. Someone you are selling products and you are doing retail. Whereas a hotel somewhere or whatever needs your product in wholesale. But they don't trust you. And you will not be given the opportunity to prove your trust. You will only be given the opportunity to be trusted based on somebody who already knows you, who they believe. And someone will say something and say, ah, listen, if he's a maker, eh, I can tell you he will deliver your chickens every time. If it does not deliver, it, just take it at my risk. And all of a sudden, they will just sign it. And instead of selling one one chicken, somebody will come and say it's two five. You say we'll give you seven hundred. And all those arguments for hours just to buy one chicken, you will start doing wholesale delivery. Your life has changed. 
artists music artists how many music artists have been suffering as if god didn't call them beautiful voice but no voice to speak for you beautiful voice but no voice to speak they only invite you if everybody they invited is busy then they'll say sorry honestly this program is in three hours are, are you free just come and cover our shame you need a voice say i need a voice, I need a voice. say I need a, I need a man yeah you need the coming of someone in your life to speak for you what opportunities have you been given were you giving it or you looked for it by yourself are you seeing the secret to hardship where you have to look for everything by yourself who has called you to say there is a big opportunity i cannot handle it but here you go like whoever is going to get this job now there are times they've invited me for almost every invitation that we honor there are a few others we have to turn down and there are times in my spirit i have felt led to lift certain people and i call those people i say i'm sorry i can't come their heart is paining them and i say no 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 no. but this person cannot call but i know someone i can recommend for you do you believe me ah apostle we believe you we have been praying okay invite us so and so he will bless you case closed i don't want my life to be hard though the bible said the way of the fool is hard wisdom that voice that must speak in my life this has been my prayer i'm sharing with you my secret prayer lord who is the person everybody is buying land they say there is no land it's a lie it's just that all the important people have bought it the day you come they'll say please so so said they should give him land i've shared a testimony here that i heard years ago um and i'll reiterate it very quickly someone who wanted to um i think get admission in nda and then the the required height level the person did not have that required height level and you know military people they are very serious well that's it he returned back to zaria and then met the emir and the emir sent that they should go and tell the commandant they should go and tell the man that the emir has added the height of the person who is adding your height in this wicked world listen this our world is fierce and wicked who is adding your height when people stand and conspire we must destroy benga we must make sure he does not rise who is the voice authorized to stand and say no not this I will show you why doors don't open because the truth is i want to admit this with all humility many of us are already prepared for the next level but we don't know the endorsement is the key that we need the truth is if it's music artists god has honored this ministry with great people if it's intellectuals there are some of you seated right now one endorsement i remember a gentleman who came here um some time ago a medical doctor and he discovered um, something he was he got the patent for um, reproduction of something to reproduce a particular device that can check I think it can check your heartbeat and whatever without taking blood from your body very smart guy he came here and I told him I said please go and meet our daddy so that they will connect him with professor knock and like that and I think so on and so on like that like that we've not seen the guy again I want to believe that God has lifted him and I pray that it is so. I made up my mind that every voice that must speak into my life, whatever price it will take, I will pay to secure the endorsement of that voice. It's not human worship. Hallelujah. Ora Roberts, help Benny. He's in trouble. And all of a sudden, somebody's prayer point becomes a gift. Hallelujah. There are men of God who just... Do you know there are certain stages, even ministerially speaking sincerely, if God grants you the privilege and the access to stand on that stage, as far as ministry is concerned, God has helped you. There are certain individuals, if God has given you the privilege to see... God has changed your life. 
endorsements opportunities number three what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives number three what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives access to financial and material resources write it down access to financial and material resources part of the fringe benefits of the coming of a man into your life access to financial and material resources listen listen every one naira every material resource you pray for is currently in the hands of a human being right now praise the lord every land koinonia will ever buy in any nation of the world is currently in the possession of somebody now every transfer that you have been fasting for into your account there is an entity holding it now like this the money for your house is in somebody's account so when you start building a house it will not fall from heaven transfer will be made transfer will be made transfer will be made human beings there are human beings that are generous enough to change your life listen koinonia hear me it is a false understanding to believe everybody is greedy there are absolutely benevolent human beings your own price is to win their heart you can go to bed hallelujah and lot went with him he didn't say and lot believed what he believed lord just walk with him hallelujah do you know that someone was sharing a testimony somewhere uh i think it was a lady or so that was sharing a testimony somebody she knows they were walking along a path a road and then the person was quite a senior man and then he met a very big man and he was greeting the man and whilst he greeted the man he gave the man you know the person she was working with now that stranger rich stranger gave some money and looked at her and said ah young lady he decided to give her something too just like he was not even counting she said when she counted it she found that it was fifty thousand. just because she was working with who think of think of your prayer point disappearing simply because you are working with the wrong person it's the same way you can be working with somebody and you check and find out ah, i left my house with five hundred thousand. now i have twelve thousand. what happened the presence of someone took something away from you access to financial resources your money is in the hands of men please believe me your money is not just in the hands of business you can sell anything you want to sell. It's a human being that will have to buy it for you to be paid. Men can bless you for no reason. You must believe this dimension exists. That a man can just bless you. I've had the privilege of blessing people in a lavish and a generous way. For no reason. I don't even know some of them. Hallelujah. Let me share a testimony that will bless you. I share these testimonies to encourage our faith. I came back from Abuja this just this evening, just coming here now. And um, yesterday in the night, I decided to take a cab just to go and get something to eat before returning to sleep. And while I got there, my, my elder sister came to give me a surprise visit and we chatted for a while and then, you know, saw her off. Uh, on my way returning, I asked the man, I said, how much is your bill? Probably because the man saw me buying things for my sister and the rest. Ah, the guy said, oh, guy, anything you give me? I said, no, no, please don't tell me all those things. Just, you, you are working. You are working with intelligence. What exactly, how much is your money? And then he mentioned, okay, X amount. He said, oh, guy, you know, I told you I have three children. Because I asked him. I said, oh, you have children. How many children? He said, three. I said, you're a hardworking man. You know, we're talking on the way coming. I said, I like you. You're a diligent man, striving to make sure you provide for your family. And then when he asked me how much, I said, no, but you know that's not the price. So how much is the last price? Then he now told me the truth. He reduced it by some amount. And the Holy Spirit ministered to me. He said, I should take whatever was in my pocket, everything, 
everything that was in my pocket i don't know how much but it was it was nothing less than twenty-five thousand. he said take everything and give the man as soon as i draw from the car i said mr man you do not know me but go and tell your lovely children that you met a man who decided to bless them make sure you take care i removed everything i dropped it the man was afraid ah this is i hope this is not blood money and etc 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 i just dropped it and said okay this is where i'm highlighting god bless you until i entered the man was shocked that's the kind of experience that is i didn't know you will answer me this way there are such occurrences on earth i'm giving you an example that's somebody's prayer now it may look like it's 20 or 25 thousand or whatever i know it looks small to some of you but that's the same way it can be 200 and something million the same way it is that trivial the same way it was there are obedient people let me tell you there are people who pack out of their house and give you if god said it but if they have not had god you can be dying they will look at you like this there are people who the voice of god is their trigger but to get that voice of god you have to invoke this and say oh god let let send this man this man has what it takes to wipe my tears financial and material privileges accessed sim- not through intelligence and business acumen through the understanding that men can do this i started doing something some time ago i don't do it again when i go to get fuel whoever is before me no matter how much he wants to fill his tank i pay for it i just said i'll do it as a seat if i go to get fuel and you happen to be before me whether it's a bucket you are carrying as long as it's within my capacity i will sow into and i've done that and i watch the joy that it, it, it produces in the life of people watch this one time i re- i remember i think it was one of this was it salah or something like that a, a, part, a man came and I saw him bring out 200 naira. Ah, the wife was at the back of the bike. Just, he even just put one leg down and opened that this thing. Just, it's as if you just press it in and take it back. How much with 200 naira fuel? I, I looked at him. I said, please fill the tank for him. The man just turned. Ah, he was greeting me. I said, fill the tank. When he finished, I just waved. I said, madam, bye-bye. You know, this and that and that. And the man just looked at me. Do you know why I'm doing this? One, because I love God. Two, I am activating the same thing because that's what I want in my own life. I want a situation where one day somebody says, Joshua Selman, I hear you need a house. This, I hear you need five acres of land for koinonia. Take. I hear you need joy and peace. I believe it. Oh, if you like, don't believe it. I believe it with all my heart. It's not laziness. It's a provision that is in the kingdom. How many people have gotten free house they are not in ministry one day somebody just say come and escort me and they are sharing houses and you just got your own and left quietly and ran out of the town just quietly got a lawyer and said sign this it's called prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared blessings that's what God is getting ready to bring for us in this season prepared blessings where you will wake up in the morning with a text and you check the text and all of a sudden a man sends you a text wanting nothing in return i'm not talking of bribe look at this many of our parents some of you know that i'm telling the truth they are brilliant according to their level of sacrifice they should be working at the the highest echelon of the government but today nobody can speak for them there are many people who should be legislators doing very well nobody is speaking for them there are buildings houses that should be completed but there is no help because you start on your own you are receiving twenty thousand naira every month but you know one day you can just be passing and somebody will just look and say once in a while we just want to bless people and it just happens to be you dr mike mudok shared it a story one time how that i think it was his dad of blessed memory or mom they performed a surgery and it was about twenty five thousand dollars the people had exhausted all their monies and you know the hospital just called them and said once in a while we like to do good things to people just like charity and it happens to be you i was told about a woman of god in abuja today 
that went to a particular place and saw um, it's like their chapel devastated she brought out eight million cash and said they should rebuild a house for God from scratch up I know a man of God in this country well not a man of God but a rich man the pastor had been shouting we need a tent all of you so we need a tent we need a tent let's beautify the house of God the rich man just kept quiet as if he doesn't know what they're saying one day the guy got up and bought a tent 25 million cash they brought it I'm mentioning these big amounts for a reason I want to stretch your mind because some of you will never believe it if you like say I'm talking about money no problem I know you don't need it but your destiny needs it so you better pay attention in the name of Jesus connection with men who can help you do you know sometimes all you need in life is just help you don't need advice you don't need suggestion sometimes all you need uh, you don't need help like spiritual help the direct need if you need a watch just sometimes case closed just that watch. sometimes what you need is financial help when Ruth listen when Ruth and Naomi when Naomi stood and was confused did not know what to do and Ruth said I'm not going anywhere with you do you know a time came when she went to the field and she saw them gleaning and Boaz said leave some what did she do just leave some there are there are blessings you will enter into this year that you too you will know that this one no is not me is purely the sovereignty of God and I stand in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy it upon you as surely as the Lord God of heaven lives may that come to you speedily may that come to you speedily everybody shout prepared blessings say it again prepared blessings it, it, it is true it happens where somebody just steps in and solves your problem directly I share with you a testimony those who just got admission in the school of ministry congratulations but you will notice that a supplementary list came out it's not in our culture to release a supplementary list are we together now someone spoke for the students a voice that I honor that we honor I supervised the supplementary list by myself there were three people that I honor with every esteem in my life and when three of them called me I said no 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 I'm under authority to bring all the forms of the students who did not get the admission you, you were just sitting in your house and you saw an alert and they said congratulations but someone spoke for you why has it stopped why should it not continue in other areas of your life that somebody will speak for you you are just sitting you see an alert with a phone number and you call and say who are you you say we were discussing and someone mentioned your name it has happened to me it happens all the time pray one minute and say lord help us financial help us please ignore people who think you're wasting your time pray this prayer with faith lord son help us the house of god needs help us my family needs the ministry of help us. All I need at this point in my life is a genuine helper. No string attached. No thank you for investment. But what I need now is not an investment. I need a helper. Help her. My family is about packing up. I need a helper. Please don't joke. This is your destiny. This is a kingdom secret that can wipe your tears. I cry for a helper. The gift of men. He gave gifts unto men. He gave gifts unto men to the end that they be established. He gave gifts to men to the end that they be helped. In the time of recession, he's still giving gifts to men. In the time of 
sit down. I tell you, my spirit is stirred with what I'm telling you. Many of you will thank me. You will see your lives change overnight. Don't mind people who think what I'm sharing with you is not making sense. I show you what can change your life. Brothers and sisters, is one of the biggest secrets of this work you see by the grace of God there are few things in this ministry let me tell you there are few things in this ministry few things in this ministry that are actively being paid for from the central house every week every time there is somebody rising to handle something when we used to use other venues, there are people who just arise and say, look, I will pay for the venue. I will pay for this. How much does it cost to transport people all through after service? I will pay for it. Don't think it's everybody who must say, what will I get in return? There are people, whatever you want to give them, God has given them already. They don't need anything. They just want to bless you. What is man that thou art mindful of? Number four, what is the implication of the presence of men in your life? I call it impartation, access to impartation and the prophetic. Access to impartation and the prophetic. Why do you need men in your life? Their presence can guarantee you access to impartation. What is impartation? Transference of grace for possibilities. Transference of grace for possibilities. Men move according to the kinds and the dimensions of graces at work in them. No matter how you cry for God to anoint you, if you ignore men, you will never. Do you know, look at me. Some of you, all you need in your life is just that prophetic push. Prophetic push. Bishop Oyedeko said, every time they are busy celebrating winners and saying, wow, this is how the ministry has risen. They will just go to Papa Ia Deboe and they will just lay hands on him and say, you have seen well, but a new level. And that's the end of it. Prophetic push is capital. It can bless your life. It can wipe your tears. One prophetic word. I've shared with you countless testimonies here to the glory of God. Maybe I'll just review one or two. Remember the story I told you about the two women? I went to buy sugar cane. And two mama, old women, old women. I'm not sure they could even speak English. And they were trying to remove, they were trying to... Uh, um, what they call it yes to remove the wrapper so that they remove the small money to pay for sugar cane and I said ah, ah, I may not have much but come on these are my mothers let me bless them and I just bought the sugar cane I don't think I spent up to 100 naira. I can't remember how much exactly and those women were so touched they were blessing me and blessing me and one of them said my son forever walk upon gold how can a woman who is trying to remove 5 naira?" She knew what she carried on her head. Listen, 
don't wait for people's physical result to believe they have it you will be joking you may see a man with 10 members but he must have he can have a king maker anointing he can anoint you and you have a stadium full of membership if all you are looking for is someone else's result no some results are not meant to appear physically they are meant to be transferred and reflected in the life of another it's called a king maker anointing they never become kings themselves yet they are the ones who anoint and throne and dethrone kings those of you who have kings in your village you know there are people who sit down with the kings they are called king makers they never become kings themselves yet they are the ones who consecrate kings saul never became a king himself but he was the one who made kings and he was the one through god who rejected kings let me tell you there are people who carry graces they may not physically look like it they may not be millionaires but they never lack quarter to shame god will always arise that's a grace you need because all you need in life is not just money bishop Oedeko calls it the grace of on time when things come too late they can kill you they should come on time how he got that anointing he said he was a particular man of god i don't know if it was archbishop benton idahosa or whoever it was who he, you know sent him on errand sent to Edeko on errand then when he was just starting and he, to show up at a particular time and the person showed up fast and and the Oedeko showed up fast and then the man looked at him and said ah you mean you came at the time he said from today i impart upon you the grace of on time before a need arises the supply comes there is such a grace now you may see people move they are not millionaires but they they carry that possibility the moment shame is about to come something must happen to change that result it's a grace impartation by god's grace we have lavishly received impartations in this place impartations i have received impartations i'm like a bee i'm a product of strange graces jesus himself being the chiefest of them all but there are human vessels there are men who have entered my life and just wipe my tears in certain areas impartation and then a prophetic push i told you prophecy is both revelatory and creative the more superior dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension revelatory dimension gives you faith and direction but when you get to the end of your road you need the creative dimension of prophecy where someone can look at your life and say look physically speaking there is no hope but in the name of jesus i introduce a reality an equation into your life i was teaching in in, in akure and i told them the anointing is the, is an advantage it's an advantage it's an advantage it's an advantage prophecy this ministry you see there are constant prophecies being bombarded on our heads prophecy 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 where is the prophetic voice pushing you to the next level where is the prophetic voice that's why every time i minister here i pray and i speak over your life from the depth of my heart it's not just copy men of god i understand the power of the prophetic second chronicles 2020 it says believe in the lord your god so shall he be established then it says believe his prophets so shall he prosper in other words don't believe them and what happens to you it says and by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt and by a prophet were they preserved the prophetic is real not just calling names and numbers but the ability to speak realities into being taking an advantage of this mystery the capacity to create things because everything that appears comes from the unseen realm so a man can program your destiny through prophecy like an alarm clock you can program an alarm clock to ring at a time you see that you program an alarm clock 327 and the clock will be quiet as if it's dead 
327 on the dot that's how a man's destiny can be programmed a man can shift a breakthrough that should happen when you are 49 to happen when you are 25 prophecy prophecy can shift possibilities to and fro you must understand this by this time tomorrow elisha said he didn't say god told me by this time tomorrow when he met the shunammite woman he said what should i do to you should i talk to the king he said, no, no, I live among my own people. What should I? He said, well, we don't have a child. Hear what he said. He placed a time. That's one of the ministry of the prophetic is to place a time for your miracle. Because the clock must ring. He said, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To appoint. So something that would have happened next year, they take it and make it happen next week. It's a superior dimension of the prophetic. A woman will be coming here, I'm sure, one of these days to share her testimony. She sent a testimony that touched me. Now, this is not the first time we're getting these testimonies, but they are very powerful. I don't have time to look for it in my phone, but I will tell you. She said, I think we were in a program. I don't know which of the meetings now, whether in Yola or whatever. Yes, they were part of those who uh, were in the welfare cooking, cooking for us. And I always pray for all those who cook, those who drive me and cook for me every time I go for any meeting. Now, I prayed for the woman, and according to her, she said, I told her that, what do you want? And she said she wanted twins. And she said it jokingly. And I said, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord give you twins. Nothing really happened. She got pregnant two weeks after that time. That's the first news. This is a woman that had been barren. And, but when they checked her, there was only one child glory be to god that's all right at least i'm happy that i'm pregnant now and she said just like um i think maybe a month ago they went back to check and they were twins twins right there you see that she sent me a text actually because she started having some little pain like birth pains and they were saying most likely they will use cs so she shared that testimony and she was trying to encourage me to pray for her so she can give birth you know safely and then come and testify the creative dimension of prophecy that can place realities children just come through a man they come from god the moment mary said be it unto me she was pregnant it's just the body of the child and the genetics that come through the man children are a heritage from the lord he said when he led captivity captive he gave gifts to men the question i want to ask you tonight before we pray is have you received your own because the bible says that he gave those gifts to the end that we attain a level you have not attained that level meaning you have not received those gifts have you received the strategies the ideas the wisdom have you received the endorsements accreditations have you received financial and material resources i'm speaking to somebody from the depth of my heart there are testimonies i can begin to share with you now but if i say some of these testimonies that they are not it's not even safe for some of us because it may just push you through seasons you are not ready for but brothers and sisters let me tell you the truth anybody that tells you that god cannot fast track the life of a man is he joking look at my life Look at my life. I've heard of testimonies of people. In this recession, people have arisen and done things you cannot imagine. One of the gifts that God has given me in my life, I draw me to the leaders and the workers all the time, is the gift of men. The gift of men is greater than money. The gift of men is greater than money. There are some things money cannot do. Are we together listen if you labor on to death i've given this example here you labor on to death and you get five naira and somebody walks up and gives me five naira are, are five naira is the same no your sweat and your life was drained for that five naira it's, it's called the mystery of hardship when you work for everything you know we encourage diligence here but your lifetime is not enough for you to get every result by working you need an advantage and that advantage is shrouded in men not oil not real estate 
not banking men 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 who have you ignored in your life whose voice must speak for you in this season it's not that there are no jobs there are people getting jobs every time just like someone is about to get one now but who is speaking for you oh there are no contracts please keep quiet don't say there are no contracts with 7.2 billion people on earth are you joking there are no contracts there is no contract for you but there's contract but a voice can make it for you come and do a miracle a miracle today you will do a miracle a miracle today listen when you get into trouble hear me who speaks for you there are some of us it's not all about money when you get into trouble who speaks for you there are some of us if things don't work out in our lives we are dead there's nobody to arise and speak for you the bible says valiant men came to david they entered a covenant that they must make him king who is ready to die to see that your cause you criticize a man of god and there's nobody to back him no sir there should be somebody no 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 no. don't say this against pastor femi i love him are we together they just said they had some money in your office you are about to be thrown out you are in trouble and you are innocent just because you are working in the accounts department they are about to jail you in the prison in the in the police station there's nobody to speak for you before the law court nobody to speak for you they are about to throw you in nobody to speak for you Hapa. that's a life with no favor that every time trouble arises somebody will come and say look ordinarily speaking you are supposed to do a and b and c to emeka but i come in have you seen people who when they are fighting they come and stand and say don't beat this person it's better to beat me who can cover you like that politicians call them god father god whatever brothers and sisters we have ignored this to our detriment one of the blessings god has given me in my life it's not just divine immunity and protection god has raised men i can tell you this men who will stand and they will mind blood coming out of their bodies to make sure they protect my interests and what we represent and i do not take them for granted but i am grateful i have been shocked a man of god somewhere once said something that was not too nice about me and i mean that person i i didn't even know it was when he apologized more than 100 people called him blasted nonsense out of his life and said god will punish you and punish you and join and punish you you mix every the baby and the bad water and think everybody it was something that was trying to show maybe like all these men those you you know you know what i mean now maybe if somebody put his hand in something that is ungodly time shall tell you know those kind of sarcastic statements and my goodness and i'm not talking of young people married women the person will say his testimony and blast the man and say are you stupid the man sent me a text he thought i knew about it honestly speaking it was when i got i said no 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 offense i don't have what why, why i mean i don't keep any offense what for can you have people like that there are men who can arise to cover your shame just because they know you they will arise and say no 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 i will cover your shame for you we have some prayers to pray this night if our parents had this they would not be struggling like this because every other person who has risen has exactly what they have educationally whatever it is no help no help no help you work hard you go to school almost as if you die you graduate and your your certificate becomes like a toilet tissue nobody to speak on it the only thing there is the registrar's signature and life will look at you and say no i need another signature come on this is this is this is too regular show me another one you are praying and fasting but you need to start praying strategically 
don't just pray and say lord send angels yes angels are important but you need a physical entity moved by those angels there was a particular time they were going to this paul was afraid of entering a city and god said no no don't be afraid i have many people there nobody will touch you i have many people many men there i'm tired of the status quo there's gotta be more than Tired of the status quo. There's gotta be more than this. There's gotta be more. Gotta be more. There's gotta be more than this. There's gotta be more. Gotta be more. There's gotta be more than this. Listen, one of these four things will become your prayer point. I'm going to give us 10 minutes and I will not interrupt you. 10 minutes alone with God. You know what aspect. The Bible says he gave gifts unto men. Ask God, Lord, where is my own? Where is my own gift? Where is the man you have sent with the financial blessing? Where is the man you have sent, oh God, with the prophecy for my next level? Where is the man you have sent with the idea? Where is the man to endorse my life, my ministry? Ten minutes. Please, I don't know how you will pray. But the next ten minutes, instrumentalists help us. Cry before the God of heaven. And say, Lord, I want to receive my own gift. You are giving gifts to men.
Praise the Lord. Listen, listen. The Lord gave me a promise that when I teach this message, He will release radical breakthroughs to the lives of men. Believe this. You will hear of people's lives changing overnight. Overnight. If you have never believed a man of God in your life, can't you just believe for once? Doesn't your spirit bear witness that this is the key to what brought you here? Man, an advocate. Man. Listen, listen. He said they are taken for a prey, but none say it restore. They capture you, but there is no man to shout restore. Prayer point number one. Oh God, whoever holds the strategy, the wisdom, the idea that I need to experience triumph, I open the gates of my spirit and I receive them as gifts. Go ahead and pray. The gift, the gift of wisdom, the gift of understanding, the gift of strategies, business strategies through men, ministry strategies through men. One man can change your company. One man can change your business. One man can link you up with what 10 years has not been able to give you. One man can open up the gates of ministry. Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. I open the gates of my spirit. 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 I receive them as gifts. Hallelujah. One man. One man. The difference between you and the next level. Prayer point number two. Listen. Father, I have the talent. I am ready for the next level. But there is no ladder to climb. The voice that must endorse me for the next level. I call you by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. The voice endorsing my papers, the voice endorsing my products, the voice endorsing my services, the voice endorsing the hand of God on my life. I call you in the name of Jesus. Prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. It's time to rise. Somebody, somewhere. Has what it takes to speak for you. Somebody somewhere has what it takes to speak for you. Call them. Call them Koinonia. Call them. Call them for your family. Call them for your life. The man to endorse your marriage. The man to endorse access to the man of God who carries the grace you need. The man to endorse your business the man to endorse your employment Lord, I'm a master's holder. I'm ready for the job. I need an endorsement.
professor, I'm a PhD holder, I'm a graduate, I need an endorser, Lord, I'm a businessman, I have paid my price, I have done my homework, I need a voice, a voice to speak at the gate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you something. If you are a parent here, yeah, everything you pay, you pray for yourself, pray for your children, whether they are in your womb or they are everywhere. I hear what I'm saying. If you are a lady here, as you pray, you lay your hands on your womb. You don't wait till you get married. Come on. John was filled with the Holy Ghost in his water's womb. You can speak favor to be waiting for that, 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 that child formed in favor two things there are three things that give demon spirits access to people and families i want you to pay attention to what i'm saying three things number one covenants 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 you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne. Oh, sing, oh, fountains of the deep. Hadosh, Hadosh, you are mighty on your throne. America as a nation. Listen, a man can wear the inner wares of a woman. Watch this. And be moving on the street and that man returns back and blessings keep following him a very stupid man but good things are happening in his life let me tell you why it's because of the covenant of the fathers there were people who signed an agreement and said lord we give this nation to you anyone who comes under the umbrella of this nation is authorized to walk in that blessing and so a woman a man can go for plastic surgery to become a woman and yet come out alive in nigeria you try to even just operate somebody's ear and he would die was it the knife that killed him at the doctor so daft let me tell you what our forefathers left with us ready this is what they left they went to mountains valleys regions listen and all kinds of ancestry we can fake it and pretend listen i'm a new creation person i've read the pauline epistles are you getting what i'm saying i understand the grace of god and the new creation realities very well but i know god and i understand his ways are you following me now please come two people very quickly so that I need to no no sit down pastor for me I promise you can come come stand here stand here watch this in my example this guy is a thief this guy is a wrong occupant watch this if this is my handkerchief and ken comes to quickly steal it the moment he hears this my footsteps what will he do he will run away because he's a what thief but if somebody comes and meets promise and say promise give me 10 naira i will give you this handkerchief and promise gives him 10 naira and he gave him the handkerchief is there a contract there is there a covenant there if he sees me coming will he refuse because you see the realm of the spirit is a legal realm are you getting what i'm saying now so our forefathers went to idols and they said protect our wives make the plants bring crops for us in response we will hold festivals every time in response we will donate children to you in response they, it was not their fault they did it because christianity had not come to nigeria now watch this when samuel ajayi crowder and many other christians came they brought the gospel of salvation not the mysteries of the kingdom are you getting me they brought the gospel
gospel and we salute them but that was not enough the understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom that would bring liberty was not taught so even they themselves died i traveled to we were in gombe one time gombe state and we we're going to yerima's village to go and greet his family and on our way there there was a rock like a cap and they were telling us a story there that the people used to live there that that rock used to open physically there was an invocation that would be made on it and it would open and people would enter inside the rock and hide during times of war and this is what they said the last person to enter you are the one that is donated to that rock the last person to come out you are also donated to the rock are we together now and that rock has been faithful has been what the same way our forefathers had bumper harvest even where there was no rain mysteriously the crops grew these spirits kept their part of the contract all of a sudden some missionaries just found themselves into the village and they said we brought good news and they died in three days the spirit killed them immediately and said you are joking good news of what and then a few people received it and then when they received it they convinced themselves that because they are born again the territory was now changed i watched a documentary brothers and sisters in fiji island fiji island is an island small island but they love god now something happened there were missionaries who came to that place and they so beat the missionaries and oppressed them before the missionaries died they cursed the land they cursed the land and the people and they died and the people thought it did not matter one by one the fish in the river disappeared mysteriously when hunger hit the people from the government down they said something is wrong and god began to reveal to the church around there that look there are there are apostolic activities that must happen in this land if the territory must be cleansed this is what they did they began to pray and then supernaturally they found the grandchildren of the missionaries listen to me they brought the grandchildren of the missionaries to the city they loved them and the children blessed the land and say we release you from the cause of our fathers it's, it's a documentary in less than one week they saw fish crops started growing fiji island changed at once there are so many families that are seated part of the terms of the contract is that if you don't bow down to that idol you will never build a house you will never marry contract sealed now you came that you are born again and you are moving around 35 37 no marriage the other one too is coming when you meet pastors they say no problem are you not born again just believe marriage is going the ones that get married no children mysteriously you are seeing the same patterns happen because covenants are powerful that was the very same principle jesus used to redeem man covenants covenants are you getting what i'm saying now covenants are powerful until they are broken the spirits the custodian of those covenants are authorized to still begin to execute the terms on the of the covenants even on the victims please believe what i'm saying i prayed for too many people i've ministered to too many people i'm not telling you stories i'm telling you what i was free from number two ignorance ignorance authorizes demon spirits to buffet people psalm 82 verse 5 bless you guys thank you they know not neither will they understand they crop in darkness confusion ignorance and as a result the earth is out of course but have i not said verse 6 ye are god and all of you are children of the most high he said but you shall die like men men and fall like one of these princes the bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge ignorance ignorance of the mysteries of the kingdom ignorance of the principles of the kingdom ignorance of the keys to true liberty in the spirit 
Number three, disobedience. Personal disobedience. Deuteronomy, when you read, I think chapter 28 or so, it shall come to pass, it says, if thou shalt diligently hearken to these things, to do and observe all that I command you this day, that you shall be exalted above all nations and the blessing shall come upon you and overtake you is tied to your obedience the bible says having the readiness to judge every disobedience when your obedience is perfected when it is complete disobedience authorizes the devil to buffet our lives don't let anybody lie to you that when you disobey god nothing happens no it's not about god doing it it's about the laws in the spirit they will not change they didn't start with the old testament those laws predate our dispensation are we together now so tonight i want you to look at your life very carefully especially for those of us who have come have you not seen traces of the influence of darkness in one area or the other that does not mean you are not born again that does not mean you are not serious with god but it's time tonight on behalf of you and your family members to rise up and say no way i come by the blood i come to challenge these things there are many of us who have never received a testimony of any good thing that anybody has done in your life somebody buys a recharge card to give you it disappears physically that's that's the extent to which this thing is working against you have you seen people like that a guy tells a lady i love you car will jam him two hours later just for trying to verbalize that i'm considering marrying you car jams him his friend now comes and says Tor, since my friend has come me too i love you something happens let me tell you the meaning of that it puts a stigma on you and your family are you getting me now and they say these people there is death have you not seen lands that people bought land to build house why do you think we dedicate properties why do you think we pour oil on land i know a man who bought a property and went there to stroll in the night and received a slap in the in the in the land true true story because the spirit there does not care whether you paid for it gave him a slap when listen when i was in secondary school we were in a temporal site before they moved us to the, pam the permanent site that temporal site used to be a hospital are you getting the point where the place that was like the mortuary was part of the place that was converted to our kitchen i tell you many students had encounters with strange beings you are entering to ease yourself and you will just hear sounds sounds that can give you a headache for a long time i remember our school getting ultimate power so that we we'll watch as their own strategy to deliver us from this this nonsense many students were initiated into occultism because of that but tonight we come in the name of the lord the captain of the army that this situation in your life must end I sat back there fighting tears when all the people were sharing their testimonies a testimony is simply what happens when the Holy Spirit becomes the only influence in a man's life any other spirit must create problems tonight daddy mommy sisters and brothers there is need to deal with certain things in our lives I saw poverty in my family as if we offended God coming from a pastor's family didn't change my family background your name can be Solomon you will remain poor until what needs to be addressed, be addressed. that's why I told you tonight will be a night of massive deliverance listen as we begin to pray many of you who are sick will all of a sudden turn 
and find out that the sickness has gone really when you understand this you will know what a miracle is a miracle is what happens when the spirit that is causing that ailment departs this is what jesus did to the woman who was bound he looked at her in the spirit and he saw that a spirit had tied her for 18 years and he said woman thou art loose loose he didn't say thou art healed he said thou art loose the moment the spirit left he laid hands on her and straightened the physical body and there she went remember that madman at gathering that was an evangelist in a cave tearing himself into pieces the moment the spirit heard that jesus was coming they were waiting for him at the other side hallelujah mighty on your throne mighty on your throne i'll never forget one time i was praying praying seriously i was in the spirit and i had a vision i saw that there is a tree that is close to and where i stay and i didn't see that tree again i just saw a great beast like like a like a being the tail was a snake the eyes were big like human head imagine this head now like an eye two of them one here one here and the spirit was looking at me with fierce anger and all he told me is so you think you can bring god's people into prosperity and then it left that was it mighty on your throne mighty on your throne that's the reason why every time satan wants to destroy you the devil will now cause you to disrespect that person so your mother may be an anointed woman and you will fight and tear and say over my dead body for you to pray with me and satan will say amen let's go and then the oppression starts because your pride and your arrogance will not allow you to go to the person and say help me tonight we are going to cry to the king of kings i don't know if you came for this miracle service especially for those who are family people here you should never go back the same you see the results of people 4.8 5 points they have always had that ability even when they were getting one point it's a spirit that makes that happen don't let anyone fool you you are not so daft human beings were created intelligent when you enter an exam hall and you write nonsense and come out with zero and smile and say it's just because i didn't read well is that really true how many of you watch film twice to explain it you sit down and watch a three hour film once and you can come out and recite that film completely with the hair of the actor's wife and that was you didn't read for it yet you spent six months or five months reading for one course and then at the end of it you come and fail it and get nonsense and you keep convincing yourself it's just that i didn't get it it is the reason why you can read a novel of 1000 pages but a lifetime you can't read half of the bible because there is a spirit stopping you if this was a novel some of us would say take this i will bring it for you next week friday and you will exhaust it but from the day you were born the day you were born till today you have not read up to one third of the bible one time you cried and prayed and fasted and started and three days later remember when you carried your devotional and did balance brought forward you started reading from two weeks back as a sign of repentance after you read it you now threw it away because you cannot help yourself in the flesh it takes the anointing of the spirit that's why he sends carpenters that's why he puts miracle services like this so that you can come under the influence of god's power how about genotype issues ss you get up and find out you are ss or as do you know the bible never mentions the issue of ss or as are you aware of that that thing was a technology that was fabricated by satan to stop people from getting married you see a beautiful lady who has a prophet in her womb to come and then one spirit just brings one one demonic report called ss and they say sorry we can't join you because you are going to kill your children for that devil is a liar in this place tonight i'm challenging you because when we rise we are going to pray the miracles will start as we pray 
you've got to be angry with yourself and say no enough is enough enough is enough we are come to mount zion where there is an innumerable company of angels where there is the blood of sprinkling the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than any covenant that speaketh better things than any ordinance the good news is that jesus has paid the price our job is to enforce that victory are you getting my point we enforce that victory by engaging the mysteries of the kingdom that bring for liberty we are going to pray that that power that has tied our destinies down it must let us go same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me yeah. your love that rescued the earth lives in me lives in me sing it two more times with faith in your heart same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me Rescue the earth lives in me, lives in me. Jump up on your feet and we sing it one more time. Say, and conquer the rain lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me, lives in me. One more time with faith in your spirit. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Listen. Deliverance, therefore, is a separation. Is the spiritual process that experientially brings the separation between you and the forces and influences the spirits that attempts to influence your life the legal separation brothers and sisters when that happens to you then you will see gates open by themselves when that happens to you you will see realms of favor all these things people pray on you must challenge those spirits you must challenge those spirits on behalf of yourself and your family and god is ready for us tonight i tell you god is ready for us tonight lift your voice in one minute and bless him for this word the body without a spirit is dead the body without a spirit is dead now i realize that there is a spiritual component to the challenges in my life lift your voice and thank him for this revelation lord i now realize that there is a spirit component to the failure in my family there is a spirit component to the retrogression in my life there is a spirit component to my lack of admission there is a spirit component to my lack of marriage there is a spirit component to the poverty in my family are you praying tonight let the dissatisfaction rise from you
Oh, come on, tonight is your night of liberty. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Just the voices. Sing it from your heart. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me the power that can challenge any altar the power that can challenge any force of witchcraft any generational cause one more time sing it same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me lives in me lives in me same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love your love say your love Hallelujah. Lift up your voice right now and mention everything you know that is a tragic event in your life and challenge it. Say it must stop tonight. Lift your voice. Oh, come on, Koinonia, you should be praying. Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit. Behind failures, challenge the spirit. Behind marital delays, challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit of death from your family. Challenge the spirit of death. Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit. He must let you go tonight. He must let you go tonight. Those outside, I hope you are praying. This is your destiny tonight. The spirit, the body without a spirit is dead. Hallelujah. 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 Look up, please. Your failure without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Barrenness without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Are you getting what I'm saying? The key to liberty is to evict the spirit that initiates that thing. For a body without a spirit is dead. Any cause without a spirit backing it is dead. It's null and voice. Any pronouncement, any enchantment without a spirit is dead. Therefore, I want you to lift your voice. And I want you to declare forget about the problems lift your voice and speak as a believer that you are to every spirit address it behold i give you power over snakes scorpions pray Break it, take 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 it,
Sipara, Sipara, Hallelujah. Listen, listen. There are spirits that will never allow you to walk in the anointing. They will never let your eyes open to see visions. And even when it opens, they will they will bring you into error so that everything you see misleads you into trouble. I'd like you to lift your voice again. Just do what I'm asking you to do. From the realm of the heavens, challenge powers, challenge forces over your finances. it must change, it must change, it must change tonight. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. My goodness. It's a strong anointing in this place. Oh, it must let you go tonight. Who says that breakthrough will not come? Who says that marriage will not come? Who says that cancer cannot die? Who says that HIV cannot leave? Maka kapata. Sheleketari adababa. Lift your hands to the heavens. Lift your hands. My goodness. All I see in this room and outside is fire. That's all I see. Fire. You will see deliverance tonight like you have never seen. This one is the one that will bring your miracle. Listen. As this prayer goes on, miracles will start immediately. Many of you will start getting reports from your body. Many of you will be open to visions. Right now, lift your hands. Hallelujah. My goodness, there is such a heavy unction on me. It's for deliverance tonight. It must give way for you to move forward. At the count of three, hear me. Listen, I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. At the top of your voice is a prophetic instruction. As you shout it, fire. Some of you visions, your eyes will be open in the spirit. You will see covens catching fire. Mata Labata. Father, you told me tonight is a night of deliverance. There are families under bondage. There are businesses under bondage. Enough is enough. Let your fire bring deliverance. Are you ready now? At the count of three, may heaven invade this place. One, two, three. Second, second, I command covens. I command altars. I command spirits. Kaporotose. Bring them out. Fire! Fire! 
Fire breaks deliverance tonight. Barata bariba tire. Ibala kusegedegedegedeba. Shaka ba 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 ba. E protos tete. Shaka te 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 te. Reke te 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 te. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is showing me a vision. We are going to shout it again. Please don't do it here. I see many people vomiting poison, physical poison. As you shout, physically it will come out. Lift your voice. Bata bata, shaka ta ta ta, mare tende tepa. Father, anything that has been planted in the body of anyone right now, as you shout, Jesus, we have victory. One, two, three. It must let you go. It must let you go. You are coming out of their lives. You are coming out of their lives. You are coming out of their lives. My goodness, fire is burning in this place. Fire is burning in this place. Fire is burning in this place. The devil must let you go. The devil must let you go. The devil must let you go. The Lord is giving me a word right now. There are ladies here. There is a spirit that comes to you in the night to oppress you, to sleep with you right now. Lord, where are they? Let that fire, let that fire bring deliverance right now, right now, right now, right now. Every spirit husband, every manifestation, every spirit wife, every devil that has leads to you, it leaves you now, now, right now. He must leave you now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. You see physical snakes. Where is that lady? Physically, physically. It appears to you. Physically. The lady is right here. Please come out. I don't know who that lady is. Physical snake. It appears to you. You see it. Let me tell you something. After this miracle service, you will see advancement in your life in a way that will surprise you. That's when you will know that Satan is not as powerful as he looks. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and pray. Any covenant that ties me to anything of the fathers, I've been called out of every tribe, every tongue. I am a, I'm a new creation, no longer connected to ancestry. Lift your voice and pray. Every altar that connects me to my fathers, Every witchcraft that attempts to connect me. No, I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. Hallelujah. 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 We we'll pray for the sick, but there are miracles happening right now. When I call your, your case, just check it and come out here right now. I'm seeing 
I'm seeing a lady, please check it. There's like a growth right here at the side of your breast. Check it right now. You'll find out that it's gone. Check it right now. Right now. And make your way to the front. I see someone having severe pain. Your thigh. Right under here, your thigh. There is severe pain. Severe pain. The Lord is healing that person right now. Please check yourself and make your way to the front. Right now. Check yourself. Make your way to the front. I'm seeing two ladies. You came here with heaviness. There is heaviness on your chest. It's just like something heavy. God is healing people. Can you appreciate Jesus? Hallelujah. There are miracles happening. Make your way to the front now. We'll give you room to testify. Stand here. All the people that are coming out for miracles, just stand here. Right now, there are miracles that are happening. I see someone like your nose. It's like there is an irritation in your nose. While we were praying, you felt like there was fire on it. And now it's lifted. Now it's lifted completely. It's gone right now. Right now. Right now. I'm seeing someone. Severe peptic ulcer. It hooks you. Hooks you very seriously. As we started praying, it just disappeared. Who is that? Make your way to the front right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. I see a lady you hear a voice telling you you will die not a vision a physical voice physical voice it tells you you will die a physical voice physical voice it speaks to you physically can you help me all the please if i don't call anybody's case i'm going to pray for the sick i'm calling miracles cases that have happened help me um aaron would you help me just examine these people and then we'll take a few testimonies god is giving people miracles miracles right now miracles right now miracles are happening right now i'm seeing somebody listen there is a growth you came here with the growth at the back of your neck check it now it has disappeared check it now now and make your way to the front put your hand there and check it you will find out that that growth is gone completely i'm seeing two holes two holes of a left teeth being healed right now check it you won't find the hole again two holes two holes of your teeth check it right now and make your way to the front my goodness god is doing miracles in this place There are miracles that are happening. Miracles that are happening. I saw this same case in Kaduna this morning. Now, I'm seeing four people. Four people. There is one guy and three ladies. You have pile. Pile. For one of the ladies, when you go to ease yourself, it's as if you are giving birth. Blood comes out. Go and check yourself now. you find out that that pile is gone. Gone back to the devil. Go and check it, please please we are not playing games don't sit back confirm your miracle and seal it i know there is a guy i saw a guy pile severe pile hallelujah the lord is showing me a lady tears just start coming out of your eyes without any you are not crying but it just starts coming out it's very embarrassing it starts coming out right now the lord is healing you wherever you are confirm it and make your way to the front right now confirm it and make your, your way to the front right now right now confirm it and make your way to the front we'll give all of them room to testify god is healing people right now i'm seeing someone with this finger look at me this finger this very finger that's what the lord is showing me there is a miracle happening on that finger this very one i don't know if it broke or something happened to it but there is a miracle happening to that finger right now right now i'm hearing a name gabriel 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 who is gabriel 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 the lord is bringing a a miracle for gabriel gabriel i've been fighting this name but let me bring it out 
I'm hearing the name Asabe. I don't know if it's a woman or somebody in a family. Asabe. Asabe, I'm hearing that name. Who is Asabe? Please confirm. Make sure you confirm it. Let's not. Huh? You are Asabe? Uh, but I'm seeing another person again. No. Eh? This, you are Asabe. Please stand here. Miracles everywhere. Come, tell us. Very quickly, come, come. Please help us. Give Aaron. Let's, let's coordinate them. Okay, come, sir. Let's just listen to this. Give them the mic, Lawrence. Just testify. Tell us, look at the crowd, straight to the point. What happened to you? What is the miracle? Praise the Lord. I am the girl who the man of God prophesied. I have an irritation in my nose since 2012. 2012 yes. and now what happened every day once i put my hand i i always notice blood coming out but now i felt something drop out of my nose that devil leaves you forever in the name of jesus christ free give jesus praise god is doing miracles here all kinds of miracles are happening in this place please the next people let's have them come very quickly just turn and let's testify don't look at me look at the crowd Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I have this bonus. While we are session. talking, there is a lady who will come session. strongly under the anointing outside. Please pick that lady and bring her. Hallelujah. As we are talking, the power of God is in fact two ladies. Two ladies outside, mightily by the anointing. Please pick them and bring them. Yes, ma'am. Hallelujah. On my left thigh, I have this burning sensation. I don't even know what cause, but I know that once it starts, it burns me as if I'm sitting on fire. Okay. But now it's gone. And since last hearing this voice saying i will die even when i was coming last week i had this fear that i was going to but right now gone. completely gone give jesus praise god bless you yes please check yourself if you see a miracle you can come out we are going to pray for the sick but we want to take testimonies we'll give you an opportunity to tell us what god is doing mama please stand up please don't let mama sit down for god's sake give her a chair mama should not be kneeling down praise the yes Lord. please sometimes i normally feel pains in my chest Sometimes I normally feel pains in my chest, but now I feel very... Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Any pain? Any pain? Is there any pain? Is there any pain? Give Jesus praise. Yes, please. Praise God. While he was preaching, I was having peptic ulcer. So peptic ulcer. Out, but while we started praying, it left me. And There's I one more outside. Go and carry her. She's it lets me immediately now i'm not feeling it again. no pain again give jesus praise yes ma'am praise the, praise the lord i used to have this heavy pain on my chest since 2002 but um when i went to see the doctor they said it was pneumonia it's, sometimes i can't breathe pneumonia the pastor said I should, we should shout jesus i can't breathe i can't shout too much but the moment i shout jesus i fell on the floor everything just left you no pain again praise the lord let me pray for you it never returns to you in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone with an eye problem i don't know what the eye problem is but it's living right now please confirm yourself eye problem check it check it we are not playing games please check it check it eye problems i'm seeing a miracle happening right now eye problem confirm it and come out right now i'm seeing this at least 10 people with this case at least 10 like the lower abdominal region right here you've been having se severe pain it's like something pulls you there check it right now you'll find out that you receive a miracle at least 10 people please make your way to the front at least 10 people check it right now god is doing a miracle don't sit back inside and outside lower abdominal region lower abdominal region that miracle is happening right now right now right now at least 10 people 10 people with that pain as soon as you check it make your way to the front celebrate jesus god is healing them they are coming they are coming all of you you can come and stand here the moment you receive a miracle please stand here they'll confirm you at least 10 ladies right at this lower abdominal region hallelujah i'm seeing a gentleman you came here with a throat condition in fact um let me just describe to you 
they are telling you they want to take you somewhere to cut the throat it's like there is an elongation some i'm seeing them saying they want to use is it knife or something and cut something that uh, an elongation who is that person the lord is healing you right now right now you can't swallow things you always feel like it's like bone but it's like there is something on your throat almost perpetually right now check it check it check it completely the power of god is coming upon you there is a lady god is healing your mother but the power of god will come upon you as a witness to that lord where is that lady right now where is that lady identify her oh god by the power of god right now right now right now please bring the lady out god is healing her mother right at home and god is using what is happening as as a point of contact as a point of contact i'm still seeing breast lump disappearing like a lump i'm seeing one on the left left side please check it check it when you receive a miracle testimony is one way to seal it and keep it the lord is showing me three ladies your hair falls every time you go to comb your hair you literally comb your hair and bring out a copious amount of your hair that is removing this thing is a serious thing you have used medication and it has not stopped a miracle is coming to those people right now a miracle is coming to those people yes let's take the testimony quickly please loud and straight to the point yes, the Lord. help I us sound please can you help us with this mic i used to have this pen down my stomach here but now i'm, I'm not feeling completely it. gone yes are you sure yes. how long has it been yes. come on koinonia let's not get too used to miracles in this place <laughs> hallelujah it never returns to you in the name of jesus christ the next person please my goodness look at what yes. god is doing god is giving people miracles go ahead my name is like i'm pregnant it's to come like pain as in i'm pregnant and i've been complaining that for months but today when the prayer was going on i felt relieved and my stomach in fact open. as she was talking hold on the lord opened my eyes there is a lady your stomach is already swelling this is almost is even beginning to embarrass you it's not just like a stomach protruding you are feeling it very hard and stiff and it's you are afraid because it's looking like it's a situation of a fibroid please check it right now god is giving you a miracle god is giving you a miracle god bless you bless you quickly when they say we should shout praise the lord so i now shout the stomach used to pay me even before i come to zaria but i can't feel it again. Completely gone. Yes. give jesus praise it never returns again yes please praise the lord um recently i started having this eye pain when i'm walking doing other things one of the eye get blank and i don't see again but now and after the prayers i feel one sharp pain and i used to have this abdominal pain almost all the time but it just left me immediately if jesus prays it never returns to you again in the name of jesus glory be to jesus christ this abdominal pain starts two days ago so i came here and when i was praying i just received total deliverance and complete deliverance please help them so that they don't fall on, on praise the lord the abdominal pain normally comes and go and when i was outside i was still feeling my stomach hooking such that i could not stand well i was bending and then when the man of god spoke i got up and stretched and to the glory completely of the lord, no pain again come on give jesus praise give jesus praise the lord mine is more of um creativity ideas that god is to give me every day when i'm in my quiet time and it's it happens that every time i try to push further i realize that there are a lot of setbacks distractions and uh, confusions that comes my way and right now, but what has right happened? now when at the mention of the name jesus i felt my body on fire I can't really understand what was going on. On fire, a restoration yes, of that creativity yes, co sir. comes to you yes, in the sir. name of the Lord Jesus amen. Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. 
I came here with a severe eye eating. At a shout of Jesus, everything just wiped out. Completely. Believe me, that name works. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. I have a medical report from Shika concerning pain in the pain. joint. You went to the hospital. Yeah. What did they say is wrong with you? They, they couldn't see anything. They couldn't see anything. Yeah. Okay. And when you were praying, you prophesied that there is a uh, 10 people here that that God is working on yes, their system. And, and now what has happened to you? The pain is gone. The pain is completely even gone. Give Jesus praise. Even the medical report is in my room. The medical report is in your room. Yes. You go and check yourself and you find out. All of you that were under the anointing, when you get up, don't just go back to your seat. Check. You will find out that all kinds of things have happened. You are not just falling for nothing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Praise the Lord. I'm trusting God for a new set of dentition. My teeth are just. Go ahead. <laughs> the power of God is on her. Oh, Father, complete what you have started in the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands towards you in the name of Jesus. Because your faith can receive it, let it have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Next person, please. Praise the Lord. After we take this trip, people and, um, it's okay. Um, there's this pain that I usually used to have by, um, from under my armpit to the left side of my breast. Okay. So when um, you mentioned the case, I was not too sure if I was the one. But later you specify by saying the, your left side of your breast. I noticed like it's swelling up and sometimes I very I feel like very, a swelling there yeah and I now feel, have you checked it yes I, is there I, anything I there okay. completely gone come on yeah. give Jesus praise it never returns again in the name of Jesus Christ praise the Lord I want to thank God for the spirit of fear as in I do get scared a lot but I now I'm free in the name the of the spirit of fear come it never returns to you again by the power of the Holy Ghost, you are free from the spirit of fear in Jesus' name. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. I want to I want to thank God for healing me from the lower abdomen. I used to have this pain right from child when, when I was when I was young. I used to have this pain. But when you were praying and you asked us to shout Jesus, I I feel relieved. I just Completely. Want to thank God. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my dear. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know. Sometimes second of August, this very month, this is my middle finger. Help her. Fire is landing on people. I started having pain around this region, affecting this finger mostly. I can barely use it, but since he prayed during the miracle session, I got him. I announced. I saw I've that the baby. I've a finger. I've been shaking it and I'm No pain having, now. Come on, no give pain. Jesus praise, everybody. Praise. Where are the two ladies, Asabe, that I called? I called some two ladies, Asabe. The Lord is changing the story of your family. Listen, Mama is Asabe. Huh? Please, you should not stress Mama. If she's, if she's out because she's sick, Mama Kizona Zamiki Adwa, please, you should not stress this old woman. If she should, even when she's coming out, carry her with the chair and just keep her here. We'll pray for her please the lord is is wiping the tears in your family you believe that when a word comes like this it comes to give you liberty hold my hands father in the name of jesus i end this oppression in this family right now it goes forever in the name of jesus who has an elder brother who has an elder brother do you, do you have an elder brother yes. what is he doing he's a carpenter he's a carpenter yes the person i'm i'm talking about didn't go to school though is your brother yes. where is he he's in the village he's in the village god is going to lift him what is this thing that i'm seeing them laughing at him and they are saying it it's not his fault that he didn't go to school even you is by the grace of god that you are here it's not like maybe yes. it's that your, your people are sponsoring you and all of that is the favor of god yes but god as a sign go and tell him call him after koinonia that the Lord said he's going to connect him to a rich man. He should be faithful to that man. Amen. That man will bless him. Amen. Father, let there be breakthrough in this family. In the name of Jesus. Asabe. Gabriel. Oh, your name is Gabriel. Your name too is Gabriel, sir. Who is Titi Lyo? Titi Lyo. 
I'm hearing a name, Titi Layo. Please, let's save time. Our time is gone. Um, we still have to pray for the sick. Titi Layo. I'm hearing the name, Titi Layo. Titi Layo. Who is working here, sir? You're, you're working. You're both working. Okay. I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing the Lord bringing... The Lord is... Sir, it won't be too long. You are leaving Gusau. We spoke, at least we spoke. That one is not word of knowledge. We, we spoke about it, but it won't be too long. The Lord is lifting you to another place. Go and write it down. This will happen to you. It won't be too long. Write it down. You will come back and testify before them. It's not a disadvantage. It's something that will bless you in no small way. Because you have come with your heart open. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I lay my hands, I pray. Right now that you bring your word to pass concerning his life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I hear breakthrough for you, sir. This is what I hear. The Lord is saying I should announce breakthrough to you. Father, I hold his hands and I announce breakthrough in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Your mother is sick. What's wrong with her? She has been bleeding for the past one year. Bleeding? You, you can see the kind of demonic thing we are talking about here. Huh? Your mother bleeding for one year non-stop. How about that? And you fell under the anointing? No, sir. You, you are just standing to agree yes, for her. Okay, sir. no problem. We have a session for that. But since you came out, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Look at me. Do you believe God will touch your mother? Where is she? At home. Where is home? Taraba. Taraba State? Yes, sir. You are from Taraba? Yes, sir. Lord, show mama mercy right now in the name of Jesus Christ. As it touches you, it touches her. Please don't just come out at will. Ah, you are related to her. Your sister is Titi Lyon. Yes, sir. Where is she? She's in Cardinal. What's she doing? She's schooling at Cardinal. She's schooling. Okay, let's pray for her. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, what are you doing? You. I'm a student, sir. Where? KPSS. Eh? Knowledge is power. Secondary school. Okay, knowledge is power. Yes, sir. Your sister is where? Kaduna. Kaduna. Yes, sir. Tell her. Is she married? No, sir. Tell her marriage is coming for her. Are you hearing me? You believe it? Because she has been praying about this. Your mother, where's your mother? Your mother has been joining her to pray. Yes, your sir. mother even went to a man of God and they prayed about yes. this thing. Is yes, that true? Sir. Your mother went to a man of God to pray. Go and tell her that the Lord is saying marriage comes for her. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. Hallelujah. Now, please, this is the time to minister specially to sick people. You know the nature of our programs here. We will need a lot of time. So, if you are not sick, if you are escorting somebody, please just bring the person and go back. And once they pray for you, don't wait for another prayer. One touch is okay. Some of you, when they pray for you, you refuse. You still stand back. Please, once they pray for you, just check yourself and go back. Praise the Lord. And then... Don't keep going back and coming out and saying you are doing this and that. If you came with somebody who is sick, now is the time to bring them out while we are praying. Please arrange them. Now is Mama's time. All, this, all our mothers, they can make their way now. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wings. The power and love our God is an awesome God. Our God Please clear the way for them. Clear the way for sick people. Those under the anointing, just, just carry them and keep them gently somewhere.
hallelujah hallelujah now let's save time while we are praying for the sick all of you begin to submit your prayer request please i permit you to put on your phone if you need to call your loved ones to send you prayer requests call them because what god is doing tonight is unusual call them and tell them there's fire upon this place they should submit their prayer request ushers please begin to go around those online those who are connecting with us through the internet they can also connect by faith as we trust god for miracles worship team please get set you'll be giving us powerful worship songs we'll just pray for our elderly ones let the lord touch them and then he will give us peace please and um, please um when we pray for you you clear the way you do mighty things you do glorious things stretch your hands and let's pray for our mother awesome is your name you do might, you do glory, you do glory, you are afraid, you are afraid, you are awesome is your name, awesome is your name. May God use you to wipe the tears of your parents. Listen, let me tell you, any child, hear me, I'm saying this especially to we young people, any child that makes himself an instrument of pain to your mother do you know you bring a curse upon your life when you do that whatever spirit is bringing hardship on our mother and making her children not to succeed the way it should pray for her children in the name of jesus christ Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Welcome, sir. Please sit down. Who's your dad? Welcome, sir. Who's your straight, straight to the point. His legs are swollen because it's been long I saw him. He's been, he doesn't breathe well. And at the same time, he's having problem with mama. None of his children look at him except him. The same problem that mama is having that he prayed for. It's just similar thing. We are eight. Oh, it's paining you, sir. We are going to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, stretch your hands towards our daddy. Please participate in the service. That's why you came. Hallelujah. No, no, no. Daddy, sit down. Please sit down. Sit down. Please, let's stretch our hands. 25 years of witchcraft. This is witchcraft. This is not sickness. 25 years of wickedness and oppression. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be deliverance, O oh God. Baba, I'm going to pray for you. Well, we are praying for you now. Jesus Christ is going to touch you. Father, let Baba return with a testimony. I lay my hands in the name of Jesus and I cancel the plague of witchcraft in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please, after today, check him and don't cry. Don't cry, eh? Clean your tears. Clean your tears. Baba, they will watch you and they will see the improvement and you will let us know. Since it's not something we can check, you are already walking in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus that the power of God will come here right now as I lay my hands upon you, I want you to believe. We all came here because we trust Jesus Christ. And there will be a miracle. Those of you who are sitting down, be connecting to the healing anointing, you are the one who will be doing this. The goal is not for one person to do this. That as you are watching, something will come upon you. Thank you, Jesus. You're a faithful God. Awesome is your name. You do my Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. You're our God. Awesome is your name. You do mighty things. You do glorious things. 
you're a faithful God, awesome is your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at a very awesome serious situation. Can you flash this, this baby? Look at, can you believe, listen, can you believe for God's sake that this baby, as beautiful as this child is, the brain is not developing. Look at this. Who told you the brain is not developing? The doctor, and we've done CT scan. You've done CT scan. You have your evidence. They said the brain is not developing. Remember, remember our teaching. A body without a spirit. There must be a spirit that is stopping this brain. How can a baby like this? This is an apostle. This is a prophet. This is a great man. Oh, what male or female? Male. Male. Man of God in the making. And a spirit come. How would you like to have a child? That, do you know what it means for the brain not to develop? That child becomes like an imbecile forever. In the name that is above all names. We lay hands upon this child. We are not only praying that God will heal him. But God will use him. My God I pray right now. Let the brain begin to develop. We cause the spirit that is responsible for this wickedness. Right now in the name of Jesus. from village I go a lecture I will charm from village look at this mama went for election they fired something upon her head now she's mad is she mad is she your dog now yes. you are mad no you are you are not mad in the name of Jesus say I'm not mad I'm not mad in the name of Jesus whoever organized that charm on your head it returns back to them seven fold in the name of Jesus Christ Mama, I'm praying for you right now. Every charm, every enchantment, you came to this place tonight. It ends in the name of Jesus. You are her daughter, you are her daughter, in the name of Jesus Christ. Even as it releases your mother, it releases you. Mama, you are free in the name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong? Accident, sir. Accident. Yes, sir. This guy, for a long time, the spirit of death has been following you. Eh? Come. Do you know why the spirit of death is disturbing you? 
I'm looking at you. Don't feel embarrassed. Eh? I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing you smoking something. Eh? Tell me the truth. Don't tell lies. This is what death would have killed you. You are smoking a... Uh, uh, what do they call this thing? Eh? In Jahem, you go. Yes, sir. Is that not true? Yes, sir. You are smoking. The devil wants to kill you. This is. Look at. Look at this. Look at this. Can you see this? Look at this. Because this is not the first time. Every time I see this guy, I see a well wind on his head. You, you know that the devil is after your life. You are now adding a go to it. Jesus came that you'll be saved. Are you getting me? You are ready to give your life to Jesus Christ. Genuinely. Eh? Oh, oh, you are, oh, you are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. You are still with those, your friends. Yes, sir. We cancel those relationships right now. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing you sitting down with a group of people. Yes. They are smoking and they are giving you to smoke, but you are saying you have repented yes, and they are even laughing at you. Yes, you have to leave them. We cancel that relationship in Jesus' name. The Bible, hear me. Don't say I'm not doing it, but I'm sitting down where others are doing it. The Bible says, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. He said, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on that law doth he meditate day and night. I curse that madness in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for supernatural healing. Look at me. Look at me. Lift your hands. Forget about the wound. Lift it up. Careful. You broke the hand. Oh, it can't lift. Oh, I see. No, no, no. If it can't lift, don't, don't harm yourself. I thought you broke your bone. That's why I was asking you to lift it. Father, let there be a miracle right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. And anybody who smokes it, go in this place. If you know you smoke it, go. Or codeine. Altar. Once I make the altar call. Just run and come and kneel down here. Because tonight is your night of salvation. Please, don't play games with your destiny. Anything you smoke, anything you drink that is outside the jurisdiction of decency. The moment there's time for altar call, please make your way here. We love you. But then the Lord wants to touch you. Let's hurry up because our time is gone. Your name is here. Out.
on the request right now at the same time an altar call is co as an altar call will be going those who need jesus christ you are here right now inside and outside there are some of our brothers who are smokers and ladies the ones that i spoke to now is the time you can come before the presence of god don't feel bad we're a family and any other person there are those who are saying lord i'm tired of the way my life is I need a new beginning. As we pray, please come and wait here. Join this lady very quickly. Celebrate them as they come inside and outside. Please, let's save time. Celebrate them as they come inside and outside. God bless you. A new beginning. God is giving you a new beginning. Don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. You are saying, Lord Jesus, I make up my mind to walk with you. God bless you. God bless you. Koinonia, are you celebrating them? God is saving sinners. Keep coming from outside. Please clear the way for them if they are coming. Salvation is a very serious issue. Clear the way for them so that they'll come. Don't let any devil stop you. You are welcome. I know we're out of time. But please make your way to the front right now. Make your way to the front. We love you. No man condemns you. He can give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I salute every one of you here. I don't care what you have done or what you have not done. I want you to know that His Majesty can give you a new beginning. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand and say after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you died and rose again. I'm tired of the way my life is. I surrender everything to you. Seriously and completely. From this night, take over my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Let your life come upon me. I break free from habits, from sins, and everything that destroys my life. From today, I'm a child of God. I am saved in the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you for these ones. Unashamedly, they have come before you. Preserve them by your power in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray that you will use them mightily in the name of Jesus. I break the power of sin over your life. You will never return, especially for those of you who are victims of addictions and smoking. You will never return to it again in the name of Jesus Christ. That power is broken from off your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to follow a gentleman. They will have your details. And then on Tuesday, unfailingly, please be around. Um, meet with the prayer department and um, will fire you up you'll be with them for at least a month they will guide you the gentleman is waving his hand salute them everybody congratulate them stretch your hands towards a prayer request in one minute please everybody rise we're rounding up stretch your hands towards a prayer request your request is here begin to speak prophesy prophesy over it in the name of jesus christ prophesy over it prophesy over it Lord unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come are you praying Lord do miracles every spirit that is responsible for the troubles that are written here we judge that spirit every spirit every covenant every influence makata lato every spirit responsible for barrenness here yeah, responsible for any setback in the name of jesus we challenge it by the blood of jesus we challenge it by the blood of jesus we challenge it by the blood of jesus we challenge it lord let your people have testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ we declare that every request every request that is presented here is turned into a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ 
and you will stand to testify before the people of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Now lift your hands and receive the prophecy. I decree and I declare over you every confusion in your life every cry for direction right now in the name of jesus may you receive direction for the next level of your life receive direction for the next level of your life receive direction for the next level of your life every area of confusion i arrest it right now you will hear a voice from behind telling you this is the way in the name of jesus christ for those who are students i pray for your academics the exams that are about to come your best result in your various institutions this exam is what will produce it in the name of the lord jesus christ may you record five points in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray for every family represented here whatever has stagnated your family by this anointing i declare move forward move forward move forward in the name of jesus christ everything that has covered your glory so that the glory of the lord upon your life will not be seen in the name of jesus we tear that veil off we tear that veil off by the power of the holy spirit whoever needs to help you before next miracle service i call them forth into your life mysterious help us mysterious help us in the name of jesus christ i pray for you fresh grace for prayer fresh anointing for prayer every lack of passion for the things of god i kill it right now in the name of jesus every carnality and flesh and wordlessness and prayerlessness that is eating up your life it dies a natural death here tonight in the name of jesus christ i pray for you with these hands that are lifted go and begin to produce results go and heal the sick go and open doors for the oppressed in the name of the lord jesus christ I pray for families that are trusting God for miracle marriages. We release those marriages right now. I pray for families that are trusting God for miracle jobs. We release those jobs right now. Please believe me as I pray. We release those jobs right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anyone here who the devil is eyeing for death. That the devil has said you will not see the end of this year. In the name of Jesus, we lift up that embargo. We lift up that embargo. Favor like you have never seen, receive it right now. Open doors like you have never seen, receive it right now. Breakthroughs like you have never seen, receive it right now. I speak life to every dying thing in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whoever has rejected you, may they look for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command prophetic dreams, mysterious spiritual experiences. May God show you the solution to your problems in dreams and visions. Whoever is behind the failure of your life, we command judgment upon them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I prophesy unto you access to the mysteries of the kingdom access to deep revelation access to insight in the spirit whenever they are looking for men to favor may they find you may they find you in the name of jesus you are blessed in the city and blessed in the country you are blessed in your going out and blessed in your coming in every tongue that rises up against you will be judged in the name of jesus i declare that the seal of the blood is upon you you have no covenant with failure you have no covenant with death may god use you mightily 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 i declare may the mantle of honor come upon your life 
that mantle that makes men honor you mysteriously i release it upon your life receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus the mantle of honor i pray for you extraordinary intelligence levels of mental acumen in the name of the lord jesus christ extraordinary intelligence I cast out the spirit of fear fear of the future fear of death i rebuke it from your life in jesus name and every depression upon your spirit i release you from it right now every voice that has told you you will not succeed we cancel that voice right now in the name of jesus finally i pray for you passion for the things of god hunger for intimacy with the holy spirit grace for fasting and prayer genuine fasting and prayer access to spiritual power activations of the gifts of the spirit visions and and the move of the spirit upon your life in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise in the name of jesus all those worshiping with us for the first time please make your way to the front right now very quickly we're really out of time we have two minutes and we're out please celebrate all those who are worshiping with us some have come from far some from near different states please come we have a prayer and a blessing for you celebrate them koinonia keep clapping they are coming may god bless all of you who have invited them their lives will never be the same in the name of jesus christ hallelujah for all of you who have come here this is koinonia god bless you for being here we're here every fridays is a meeting that is put together by eternity network international you're welcome to fellowship and worship with us again and again and your life will never be the same in the name of the lord jesus christ stretch your hands towards them saints of god and let's bless them we release the blessing upon this house over your life no keep standing don't worry you can stand I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus you will leave this place and return with dramatic testimonies whatever you came here with is turned into a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ I see two of you standing here there's miracle marriage coming for two ladies here specifically I'm seeing two ladies that's the reason why you came specifically I prophesied miracle marriage for you in the name of Jesus Christ for one of you the person you are going to marry is a banker and he will come to you before october your wedding will happen before december 31st in the name of the lord jesus christ we decree and declare over your life you will carry an unusual unction and everyone who sees you will know that you have come before the presence of god there is someone here you are standing you are going to have like one week of prophetic encounter stretch one week every night repeatedly you're going to have different people come to teach you certain things and on the sixth night you're going to have an impartation it's like a hand that will be laid upon you it's not demonic in the name of the lord jesus christ we bless you return with evidences return with testimonies in the name of jesus christ thank you so much for coming we love you and we honor you please follow the gentleman waving his hands they'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf and then you have a few details celebrate them koinonia hallelujah hallelujah i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.